graphic, bro, I swear. That's a better name. I like that name better. Let's go. Let's do, let's do that. Bro, please trust me. Dude, dude, source, trust me, dude. Source, source. It came to me in a dream. Bro, please, please, bro. Please, please. Hashtag pound sign. Please, bro. Just one more lane, bro. It'll fix traffic, bro. I swear. Please, just one more lane. That meme is the best. I love how your shirt is green screening. Yeah, I, it's green because I tried to wear something festive because it's past Thanksgiving and you know, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Yeah, and everybody else, happy Thursday, I guess. Anyway, so I tried to wear like a festive Christmas shirt, but it's also green, but it's festive. It's festive, all right? We need 420,000. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I, I wore my Christmas ugly sweater here. See, well, it's not an ugly sweater, it's just a shirt, but. Yeah, I must have missed 60 minutes. Uh, okay. Did you see what the NSF trailer caught? No. What you you always asking about what NS trailer? What the NSF trailer cost caught? Or, I was trying to make a joke, but I screwed it up. What did the NSF trailer catch? You never ask how the NSF trailer caught. Oh, that's quite nice. That's quite nice, mate. I think city's loaded. Are we doing a news update? I did talk briefly about Starship Phoenix, but uh, yeah. Uh, it didn't get all the way, but I guarantee you some progress was made, even though it failed. I guarantee you some progress was made. They definitely learned a lot. They hot stage, dude. Isn't that cool? <laughs> and I'll be honest, some of those views coming out of coming out of SpaceX's uh, Twitter account. Oh my goodness, or Twix account, excuse me, Twix. It was uh, quite good. Have I seen this? I don't know. <laughs> Holy shnikes. Ian, I drove by this damn building th like oh, a week ago. Why couldn't they do that then, man? Damn. Oh. To the tea cat. <laughs> I seriously drove by, like, right here. That's freaking sick, dude. Look at it. Also, Ferd, Ferd, Ferd. Oh, wait, no, there's a Chevy right there. That's all right. That's okay. It's okay. The Fords are doing the work. Chevy's just sitting there looking pretty, which is pretty much all it's used for. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, goalie. That's, <laughs> don't hate that. First or second stage? Uh, that's the first stage. Giveaway on the first stage, Super? Look. Look at the outlets for fuel. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yeah. Actually, hold on. Hold up a second here. What are we looking at here? Oh, they have it capped. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, we got we got six engines around the rim and then one in the center. So yeah, first stage. Dude. That looks very high fidelity, Ian. Uh, also, Mr. Max, uh, Mr. Max Evans took this. I will tickle Max as a way to say thank you. I will tickle you. Ian, make sure we show this to Max so he sees it. I will tickle you, Mr. Max. Uh, this will make it not weird, right? Uh, tickle, hello. Boop, boop, boop. All right, anyway, that's a really good picture.
Um, yeah, uh, I think, yeah, see the wing mount right there. That's definitely the first stage. This is either flight hardware or uh, test qualification hardware, which is very close to flight hardware. How, how cool is that, huh? Why is the rocket in higher resolution than the cars? Uh... Meh, 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 convertible, meh, meh, jeep, it's a jeep thing, you wouldn't understand, furred, furred, yeah. oh, a 2500 HD, alright, 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 furred, guy, that's really awesome, dude, that's really awesome. You know, we might want to balance that audio out a little bit. It, the city's music is a little bit loud. There we go. Dude, new Glenn, man. And you guys want to see something else? Ian, did you see what rolled into the port today? Welcome back. This is what I've been working on. Oof. Flo, why, why, I did, new jig, you know, how much, how much you want to bet, that's, it's for that thing, <laughs> Flo worked on this, I, uh, I'll bet five dollars, Alex, so Ian, wait till wait till I tell you that there's like two more of them inside of that hangar. You didn't hear that from me though. When I drove by, they may or may not have had the door open. That's all I'm saying. It ain't no insider information. They had the freaking door open. You can see right in there. There's like a bunch of them. That and Lex Friedman posted some pictures with Jeff Bezos of um of inside of the new Glen processing area. And there was definitely a lot of hardware in there. Did you see that picture? Dude, I told that, that like, how crazy is this, man? We got SLS, Starship, new Glen, like all existing in the same timeline. I just want to point out how ridiculously absurd that actually is. Dude. Like, this is better than the space race. This is better than the 1960s. Like, we, I mean, we got to do something with it. That's the only thing those guys got on us, right? Like, they went to the moon. Like, we, but we got to look at all this stuff we got. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Also a nice fin. Oh. And the Arian 6 hot fire the other day. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Bruh. We are... We are doing not bad here. This is pretty sweet. <laughs> I forget. 60 years later, still excited about what's doing already been done. Wake me up when it's something new. Hey, man. Bamboo, you telling me you watched... Did you watch the Starship launch? You telling me you looked at that and said, meh. Meh. Oh, come on. I, you, I got at least, you got, at, you were at least like, all right. Okay. But, but still, hey, come on. Did I at least get a little bit of a, from the Starship launch? Just maybe like a little, all right. Come on. You got to give me an R. All right. Yeah. It's not going back to the moon, man. And there's frankly no excuse. We should have been back there we shouldn't have, okay, let me let me put it like this. We shouldn't have never stopped, all right? But also, this is pretty good. We're in a pretty good spot right now. We got all this sweet hardware, all right? So if you really want my honest opinion, we got all this sweet hardware. Do something with it. Do something with it, you They will. They will. It's going to take some time, but they will. But also, 
three super heavy launch vehicles existing at the same time in the same timeline is pretty damn pretty damn cool. We haven't had anything like that before. And we have lift uh, no it exploded. Yeah. Hey, NASA's early stuff exploded too. Varix, you remember you remember the first Mercury Redstone launch? MR1 where they went to hit the go button and the top popped off? Hey, you got to learn. You go you got to learn somehow. Would you visit the moon if you could? Absolutely, Mando. I got herniated discs, man. That low gravity would be great for joint decompression. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's still one of the funniest things I've ever seen, Varix. Even if it was kind of a gut punch, dude. <laughs> they went to fire MR1 and the LES just triggered and then the parachute popped off with the rocket still sitting on the pad. Whoops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> And then there's Atlas Centaur AC5 where the engine stopped firing like right after it left the pad. So it's like, oh, all engine ignition. <laughs> Boom, right back down into the pad. <laughs> and we have... <laughs> Short flight. Okay. Hey, by that logic, technically Mercury Redstone did perform a propulsive landing. Foreshadowing. In the business, we call that foreshadowing. Yeah. Alright, anyway. <laughs> Let's play cities, dudes. Let's go. We're tagged under the cities category. Just one more lane, bro. Bro, just one more lane. Just one more lane, bro. It'll fix the traffic, bro. I swear. Just one more lane, bro. And propulsive disassembly. Hey, rapid unplanned disassemblies are part of the process, alright? It's all in the hips. It's all in the hips. It's all in the hips. <laughs> uh, you damn right, Croc. It's a great YouTube channel. <laughs> See your last link, please. What's up on your mind, man? What's up on your mind? I, my brain just tried to say five things at once. Ooh, nice intersection, dude. Yes, super. Quite nice. Yes, it might even constitute me breaking out the Zoidberg impression. Ho oh, ho! Please read the Sneaky Ninja's link. No sleep till Stugatz. Uh, there's too many links. It's, it's word of the week. Okay, word of the week. Supercraft, your intersection is amazing. I actually like it. That's really clean. Very nice. I like how you went with the, um, uh, the walled highway. That's really cool. It looks good, man. Very clean. Very clean. Did you grade? Did you grade the roads? You gotta grade the roads before you make the intersection. Balls can't... Balls? Huh? <laughs> just one more link, bro. Bro, just one more link. Just one more link. Alright, alright. No more links. No more links. Here, chat, chat. Look, look. Anyway. <clears throat> Colossal Order Word of the Week. The keys were mostly for me, guys, so if somebody took that the wrong way, that was mostly to... It was mostly for me, alright? <clears throat> this week I'll keep things brief and focus on what's happening on modding. As suspected, modders wait for no one, and they have actually achieved some really cool stuff, like map and code mods, which is amazing! City Skylines 2 release build included an unfinished version of the editor, and it didn't take long for it to be found. Really? Keys to the spaceship? Well, Rauk, I'll tell you what here. Right here, I got the keys to a uh, 97 Ford F-250, which is, you know, that's like a spaceship. 97 Ford F-250 with 175,000 miles on it. Five speed, 351 Windsor. Okay. Greatest truck on the planet. kind of like a spaceship, right? <laughs> Alright. The modders... To, okay, so yeah, the editor is in the game. I saw some people posting about it on Twix. Twixer. You think the Honda Ridgeline has it beat? Hmm? 
just going to pretend I didn't hear that, Bisky, okay? How many launch systems were successful in the first flight? Atlas V. <laughs> dude, you had me going for a second. I was about to be like, where's that timeout button? Boop, you know. That's bait. Don't fall for it. Oh, you got me. Anyway, back to lurking. Hope you had a great trip. Thanks, Rauk. Yeah, it was good. It was a good time. P people can't drive in Florida. That's what I learned. And also, Florida still has rockets, which I, you know, I'm quite fond of those. Anyway. However, I must ask for caution because any work done with the hidden unfinished editor may break since there are still going to be changes to it. This is not to discourage you from working on your mods, but rather to try and openly share what you expect. Some of our most notable changes will be in how the maps are saved, so we can't guarantee the maps saved on an unfinished version of the editor will work with the game in the long run. We're currently testing the map editor, and there are already changes to the water placement and landscaping tools, so any tools made touching upon these are also very likely to break. <laughs> yeah. The editor will be released early next year, so until then, don't let that stop you. Just be aware that you might need to rework some things later on. Oh, that's that's you, that's cool, man. Did you get your special tour? I didn't, Don. I didn't. Too short notice. But next time, though. Next time, though. Yeah. Very, very base take on how, you know. Oh yeah, you can mod our game. Just no It might break your mods when we when we mod our game too. That's pretty. You no, know, I'm okay with this. Yusuf, what's up, dude? To further help the modding community, we've updated the wiki to include more information on asset creation. Oh, that's great, man. Yeah. You will notice there are no instructions for the level of detail models. This is because we're working towards an automated system where you wouldn't have to worry about the lots unless you actually want to make them by hand, or the complexity of the asset requires it. Any other information will be added to the wiki as it becomes available. Uh, yeah, Ben, it is pretty sweet, huh? Is Blue still trying to patent physics? I don't know what they're doing, but I agree with it. Whatever they're, whatever they're up to barrel i'm cool with that look at that so th that's missing the engine section with the engine section it, the, the bottom of the booster will be over here yeah with seven b fours sitting here like yeah yeah and finally a quick update on the higher priority items mentioned last week performance improvements are on the way as we're reducing the cost of rendering geometry Bug fixing is going forward nicely, and the mail and export bugs are getting sorted out. We are also working on a fix for some achievements not unlocking. Statistic bugs and a taxi getting stuck because someone left their child in it. <laughs> you know, it's not a bug, it's a feature, okay? <laughs> Parenting is hard. A full list of fixes introduced with each patch, so check the patch notes if you're interested in more details. You may expect a bigger patch coming out in December before we likely go on holiday break in three weeks. During the break, there are no patches and limited responses from the team while we take time off to work, but until then, we're working our hardest. Sincerely, Marina. Mariatta! My name is Jeff. My name is Jeff. That's cool, man. Oh, you guys figured out something that we didn't want to show you? Eh. Alright, here's some resources for it. It might break stuff later, but here you go. Have at it. Very, 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 very cool way to run your Vidya. Yep. And with that being said, welcome back to East Rock. The city of champions. Or, or balls. So... I've been dreaming about fixing this freaking highway for a week. Is that bad? Yo, Blue, what's good, man? Yeah. East Rock has some traffic problems that we should probably, you know, fix. Blit. 
People, I was wondering what you were trying to say. I'm like, wait, what does that say? Anyway, so, if you look, let's zoom down in here. I built this new highway. We started building this new, this new boy here the other day. And this highway right here is basically my solution to try and fix the, this over here. There is, um, there are some issues with, so this was the original highway here. And it turns out that, um, uh, yeah, it is woefully inadequate for a 395,000 person city. Weird, huh? I know. How strange. So, um, yeah, we, uh, we need to fix, we need to fix that, like, Yeah, so my idea was to test out road frontage in City Skylines 2 for high traffic flow. Because honestly, guys, I mean, not a lot of people's computers can take holding a 400,000 person city no right now. Up. However, however, you know, we do have an opportunity here where my computer actually can take this. And I will tell you, late game City Skylines 2 is very dependent on roads. It is very important to get that right. You really have to think about building out your road infrastructure. So with that being said, we started working on the highway project. Uh, this highway project, basically right before I went on vacation. I built this sucker all out and we started building the intersections for it, but we didn't, we didn't finish. So that's what we're gonna have to do. If you notice, I when I build intersections in cities, I, uh, I never pause. I always build the intersection over something else. Uh, so you can kind of, that kind of gives a pretty cool flair to the city's design, right? Like you can see where, oh, I built this road here. The original highway was here and I built the new highway next to it because, you know, in real life, you're never going to just demolish an entire highway unless you absolutely have to, right? So how is the pillar in the middle of that ramp? Uh, science, mostly. So, so, I've been building out this new highway to test frontage roads. Now, what's a frontage road? Well, frontage roads are like feeder roads. If, if you're from like the central parts of the United States, you'll know. But this, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You have like your main highway, and then you have like an intermediary highway that feeds into your main highway. The idea is that the main highway is for through traffic, right? And the intermediary highway or the frontage or feeder highway is what feeds the main highway and has all the intersections connected to it. The idea is that the highway never jams. The idea that I principally use because this city, I'm, I'm trying to make this city look kind of like New York. It's built kind of in the same fashion with, the sim with similar styles of terrain is based off of this. This is the I-95 corridor here. Uh, through New Jersey here. It's one of the busiest roads in North America, which is crazy. Look at that. You have your main highway there, and then you have your feeders here, and then you have feeders for your feeders because how many lanes you want? Just one more lane, bro, I swear. Just one more lane, bro, it's gonna fix it. One more lane, just one more lane, bro, I swear. I swear, one more lane will fix our traffic problems, bro. Please, bro, please, just one more lane. Oh, go guts! Oh, hey, 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 Funk, how you doing? How you doing? Bro, just please, one more lane. Bro, just one more ramp, man. One more, one more ramp, bro, I swear. I swear, bro, I swear, it's gonna be fine, bro. Bro, please. Pretty crazy, right? So, I'm trying to see if cities will understand this and it seems to be doing pretty well thus far oh shut up i know my traffic sucks be quiet so i've also been trying to build in infrastructure that we already have build around the infrastructure that we already have which is why you see some weird stuff here with the roads here and there every once in a while Now, right now, this intersection is has a crazy traffic jam going here. Also, we need to go here with the editor 
and I need to go to climate and shut off precipitation and shut off the cloudiness. That helps with performance just a little bit. Yeah, dead crew, it happens. Yep, yep. Yeah, another advantage to building around it. Once you rebuild it, it's free real estate. No, that just, that helps with the city's organic design, Sneaky, for sure. So, I didn't make, I've made some modifications to this interchange, and we're already seeing the fruits of that labor here. I built a gigantic frontage for my frontage here, and it seems to be, seems to be working well. Actually, a merge threshold here. Just one more lane, bro. Bro, please, just one more lane, bro. It's gonna fix it, bro, I swear. Bro, please, come on, bro. Actually, the, the road that I'm really, really proud of is the one that we spent a lot of time doing. This trumpet interchange to get into Hand Mitten. Hand Mitten is my new section of the city. No, no, not Manhattan, Hand Mitten, because it's cold out. Um, the Hand Mitten connector we made go underneath my rail depot in true New York fashion. Hey, we're gonna tunnel under it or we're gonna build a freaking road over it, all right? Hey, oh, you don't like the tunnel under your freaking road? Oh, it's too loud? Too bad, freaking deal with it. I gotta do that too. I got a freaking freight yard in my backyard, all right? Deal with the freaking thing. Jeez. <clears throat> so in true New York fashion, we just made the road go underneath a gigantic train terminal. Because raisins. But I still do have some of my original on-ramp hooked up here. The reason why is because not all of my roads are connected into the gigantic frontage road just yet. And that's why you kind of see half of an old intersection here and half of the new hotness intersection right here. Oh, hey, I'm walking here. Yeah, the, the whole vibe for this city. The whole vibe for this city is, Hey, get the frick out of the way. Whoa, we're Stugats. What are you doing? That's that's my whole building style. If I had to put it in like a, you know, a five second explanation. You know, the build style that I'm going for is, Hey, hey, have a nice day, you butthole. Frick you, my friend. Enjoy your day. Just like that. Just like that. Yeah, that's, that's the explanation. Also, I have my Jersey-inspired district over here. It's called the Stugats. It's the Gugutz district. It's very nice. You got to go to, uh, you know, Pizza di Stugats, which really doesn't make a lot of sense in Italian. But hey, whatever. It's on Satriali Street. You see that? Satriali Street. Hey. <laughs> Seems like Italy. Shh. You could say, <laughs> you could say Cepali. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good, thanks. How many hotels do you have? I don't know. Stugats. We called it the Stugats, all right? That's the name of the district. Not Stugats. It's called the Stugats. You see, you know, we have uh, Barone Waste Management. Yeah. I'm the mayor. I'm, uh, I'm in waste management. Yeah. Yeah. And then tourism stats. <sighs> tourism can be uh, an important source of income for the city and the people that it employs. Tourists spend their time and money on different types of activities. You can find them going to places that provide relaxation, visiting attractions, going shopping, doing leisure activities, and staying at hotels. Attractions are buildings with an attractiveness value. These include parks and rec buildings and signature buildings. Yep. The attractiveness value reflects how interesting your city is for tourists. Uh... Hey, Orion, what's going on? How can I tell what's hotels here and what it, oh.
Jabs, just when I think I got this game figured out. <laughs> this is fine. Okay, okay, man. All right. <laughs> okay, man. Oh, fudge. Is there any way to force the hotel being made, though? Like, I don't think there's... Is there any particular way to put high-density residential? Or high... Well, no, they'd be high-density commercial, right? Well, I have these areas that are... Super attractive, right? But yet, yeah, I find you strangely attractive. Of course you do. Jewish princesses are often attracted to money and power, and I have both, and you know it! Huh? Sorry. Yeah, high density, Don. Yeah, I got you. Hey, try to keep keep it classy in here for me, guys, please. I, I, I've been streaming for such a long time, I have viewers that watch with their kids now, so I'm trying to keep it classy for them. Yeah, I don't... I don't know how to feel about that, to be 100% honest with you. <laughs> I, I... 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 That's cool. All these highway projects bring you back to the Westwood days. That's exactly what I was trying to get at. <laughs> You're old. Thank... Thank you. Maybe you can adjust some tax sliders for hotels. Yeah. Oliver, I don't think the traffic is broken. There's something weird going on with the economics, but yeah, seems okay. I think the traffic just needed some tweaking, but yeah. Lodging is a hotel. Yeah, no, I got you. Well, that would certainly be a way to incentivize it. That's cool to know that we can do that. Dude, I don't think people realize how... It's still, to this day, like, I didn't even know that was a thing. I don't think... I don't think really, you know, during release, people grasped how crazy um, this game actually is when it comes to the simulation. The fact that it's as optimized as it is is pretty dang impressive. I'm honestly not mad. It's pretty freaking cool. What are those yellow icons you have in the city? Air pollution from the industrial sector which is going to get moved after this the air pollution is killing me anyway i really want to focus on the road because traffic is my big problem right now and after that i really have a labor shortage i want to see what my unemployment is Floating 11.6 unemployment, but we definitely have huge demand for certain jobs here. Poorly educated. Simulation's alright, fair boy. It's a little slow. We're in slow motion, dude. We've been in slow motion for a little while, but it's handling it. Either that or my computer's about to just deep fry itself, which also might. Hey, 
Hey Harry, what's going on, man? Welcome back. Happy to see you. Likewise. That. Jamela. <laughs> uh... Oh. It's fine. I'm going to do a vice grip garage here and just pretend we didn't see that. Yep. Getting your money's worth. Hey, <laughs> cities be like, hey, there's 100% of the processor. I'm going to use all of it, okay? Fantastico. You see. Uh, <laughs> ooh. Do you have some turkey left? You may want to warm it up on the CPU. I... It's not, you know, that's not a bad idea. At least you're not overclocking it. <laughs> How does crime look like in stats? Uh... Yeah, that's not bad. 2% crime rate. That's really good. Crime success rate, 38%. I'm the mayor. I'm going to do what mayors should do and just turn a blind eye to that and keep showing people how cool the city is. T too real? Okay, yep, too real. All right. Too... <laughs> Jabs, you saw nothing. There... I... There. Hey, yeah, uh, yeah, hey, look at this place. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Isn't that neat? Am I out of touch? No, no. Surely it's everybody else that's wrong. Look, hey, see, doesn't that look good? Look at this guy holding his ball in a book. Can you bump the music volume a little, please? Up or down? Nice LeBron statue. <laughs> LeBron statue. <laughs> Gentlemen, allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Bookball. Gentlemen, where are you? Okay, that's enough. That's not funny. Hey, go boy. 74 months. Thanks, man. So, yeah, we, we do have some pretty outstanding problems to fix. Um, so, let's get her done. Get her done, mater. Or something. Yep, I agree. Okay, Spiral, take it down a notch. Take it down a notch. Scotty, don't. Summer down now. Summer down now. Okay, summer down now. Yeah, you can see because I don't pause the game that some of my roads just lead to nothing. Yeah, just like, it, it's realistic. Okay? All right, Brr. all right, cool. Fun time's over, chat. It's time to get in here and build some freaking roads, man. All right, so I last left off, I think, oh. we built our diverging diamond in here to feed this industrial area, which does work pretty dang well, actually. Um, 
that does seem to have eliminated the trap. Oh. Just one more lane, bro. Bro, please, just one more lane, bro. Please, please, just one more lane. Bro, one more lane, I swear. What, Bro, one more lane will fix our traffic problems, bro, I swear. Bro, please, just one more lane, bro. It just moved off the highway. Yeah. You know, that's, that's good, though, right? Like... I'm starting to think that putting, like, this kind of stuff on the edge of the... Oh. Drummer, I think it was that guy again. I think it was that, that guy, you know, the guy that just likes to talk about stuff in chat. I'm pretty sure, we, I'm pretty sure that was a sighting. Alright, so how the heck are we going to fix this? Yeah, the, drummer, about, about the other guy, we got we to gotta talk about that. That was a regular viewer, dude. He was just, he was just screwing around. That guy's actually been watching the stream for a long time. So if you could just, if you could just sort that out for me, mate, that would be great. Yeah, spiral vans for sure. Add more bus lanes, bus, bus Y. Bussin, yeah, the, the highway is. All right, well. Okay, snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, I'm from the Midwest, cause I say, oh, too many times. How many hours have you spent on this? Nina, I think we're, for the whole city, probably about 200. I've been playing the save files since the game came out. Yeah, I started it the day the game released. It's a beast mode of a city. But Nina, you, you know what's crazy? You know, in City Skylines 1, traffic got bad when you got up to 300,000, 400,000 population. But, you know, if you had a nasty traffic jam, the game just deletes cars. It would just delete cars to not bog down your computer, right? This does not delete cars. The traffic jams that you see are very real and they'll stay there until you fix them. Not to mention you have inflow, you have influx and outflux, right? So rush hour, there's rush hour traffic built into the traffic simulation. This gets pretty hairy when you get up to 400,000 people, which is why I've just, I had to, I probably put about five hours in, five hours into designing this highway already. Actually, you know what? It's probably more than that. I did a 10 hour stream a week ago, uh, just getting this part of this figured out. So I got a good amount of man hours into building out the new highway for this. It really, really got to take your time with highway building when you get up to this pop level, which is cool. I dig it. I think that's really neat. This game just deletes your processor. You know, that's a way to put it, Loiso. Steam says 178 hours. Oh. Well, if Steam told you to brand my vans off a bridge, would you? Yeah, that's what I thought. Man. Yes, my vans. Okay, so. All right, roads, dudes. Let's go. Let's go. It's Monday. I'm having a little bit of trouble getting there. All right. This traffic is a nasty problem. 
it's causing traffic to back up on my on my actual main road. That's not good. It's people trying to get into hand mitten. And I'm sure that's call, causing a myriad of other problems. We need to basically eliminate that road right there. So all this traffic is coming from somewhere. Where is it coming from? Let's see. Well, first and foremost, I don't have a way for traffic coming down this highway, Strawberry Highway. I don't have a way yet for them to get onto the big road, okay? <laughs> Matt, I mean, we, we could do that, but I don't think, I don't think we should. Just because we could doesn't mean we should, man. All right, so we finished building out the frontage entrance here. So what I did was I gave this segment of the highway that goes up into the city, I gave it a frontage area for this industrial sector. So basically the on-ramps lead onto this and that, right? And if you want to get on the main highway from here, you have that. You can take Cooper Highway here, or you could take the Kevin Garnett Highway right and then here I built the Primrose Highway for the main road and that all connects in here the thing is the Garnett Kevin Garnett Highway here okay Jude uh, we need to basically make a, a bypass road from the Valley Highway that goes across here and connects into the Garnett Highway hey randomized I'm good how are you no Mac Jones Highway? No, 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 Salty. I don't want to. I don't want a Mac Jones Highway because that highway would suck. I don't need crappy highways here. I already have those. Just gonna let that one sit for a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, so I do. Just... I'm stealing your joke, to be honest with you. You know what? That's that's really mean. I mean, kid's trying, dude. He just just can't do it. That's really messed up. I just thought about it for a second. I'm like, no, nah, no, I don't want to do that. I'm a jerk, but I'm not that much of a jerk. This traffic here, where does this traffic need to go? This traffic needs to go. I need a way for these guys to get onto this road, and I need a way for them to get onto that road. So Chester Highway this way, Elizabeth Highway that way. Also, the road that's going to end up connecting into Chester over here is going to need to split again and connect into the valley highways for the trucks going into the industrial sector. The idea behind these two frontage roads, this one and this one, is that it separates the traffic that's trying to get into the city versus the traffic that's trying to get to this industrial sector that has terrible labor problems. Also, fellas, the reason why I have just god-awful labor problems here is because there's too much traffic. People literally can't get to work because the traffic is so bad. Yes, I have subways. Yes, I have trains. They move a ton of people. It's not enough. It's not enough. My subway moves over 108,000 people a month. Trains move 50,000, buses move six 
Taxis move 1,000. We have a pretty good transport network built in. Still not enough. Thick, did you thick it all? So we're gonna need to, we're gonna need to just add one more lane, bro. Please, please, just one more lane, bro. Bro, please, come on, bro. Just one more lane, please. to work on the frontage here. Take the hat off, sir. <laughs> Take the hat off, sir. Oh, fine, fine. Of course, how selfish of me. Let's do all the things that you want to do. Sir Andre, he's just, he's just a Chevy guy. We can't, we, we'll, you know, we'll forgive him for that. Worm. You're getting the worm logo. <sighs> now you have to watch ads, though. That sucks. Whammy. <laughs> Why would you listen to a Chevy guy? This is a first on race day chat. I don't know. Get some to be quiet, maybe. Don't be quiet. Don't be quiet. Don't be quiet. Now you have to deal with this. What's up, XJ? Texas has frontage a lot. Do you know what Lada means? No. Yeah. Lada is for sure. this segment right here no is 
Sorry, highway's under construction. Be quiet. You saw nothing. Oh, no, no. Oh, absolutely not. Hang on a second, guys. I gotta mess with the terrain tools here. I gotta reinstate the slope here. So the highway comes in correctly. No. No. Discovery, go at throttle up. Stop. I usually don't pause the game like this, but the roads were acting very silly. That's what I'm trying to do right there. And I know I just got rid of it, right? But I think, yeah, okay, cool. I see why the logic screwed up there for a second. All right, excellent. I'm sorry, 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 my man. You think he's gonna be okay? All right, so. This road right here that we're gonna make needs to connect in three spots. Um, I need I need the road basically to go over here, elevate, turn, and then come come in. So the the first ooh. actually four spots. One needs to go this way. Here, let me let me draw it. Sometimes drawing it with footpaths really, really helps. So this road's gonna have to go like out to here somewhere, right? And then it needs to go, one of these highways needs to go this way and it needs to connect in over there. The other ones, so that's one way. Another way needs to turn this way and then we need to make an interchange here that connects into the Valley Highway, this one. And then I also need Linden Highway right here. No, I don't want that. No, scratch that. We don't want that because I don't need people coming off the new highway onto the old highway. Screw the old highway, we don't need that. What's with the fat lady? You're obsessed with the fat lady. We don't need to connect into Linden. We need to connect. Oh. One needs to go to Valley and the other one needs to go Chester. So one, two, three. Discovery, go at throttle up. And I think that's it. I think it's three. Independence Day, deep cut. No, it's appreciated. No more oops. No more oops, Nickel. No, no, no. You're, no, no, no more oops. Yes, yes, no more oops. 90s Jeff Goldblum, am I right? Am I right? I'm right. Yeah. All right, so... One route to Elizabeth Highway, the other one needs to go to Chester, and then the last one needs to go to Valley. And we have to build all that over a functioning interchange. Okay. Let's get to work, shall we? Do our best. Your best. Losers go home and go home and whine about their best. Winners go home and get the prom queen. Carla was the prom queen. Achukaracha, what's up? 
You talk about bridges in one of your streams. I have a fun fact for you. It was, you were a sergeant in the army in Germany for four years, and that's when we learned that we shouldn't let soldiers march in step on bridges. If you want to know why, Google the Broughton Suspension Bridge. Very interesting. Resonant frequencies from, from marching across the bridge. Yep. Yep, yep. That's awesome, dude. I was the prom queen. Can you tell? That's cool. Acho, that's really neat. Yeah, yeah. If you if soldiers are marching across a bridge, it actually will create a resonant vibration and the bridge can collapse. Yeah, absolutely a thing. That's so cool. Well, not not the death part, but the, the, the physics part of it. That part's neat. The death part kind of sucks and you don't want to see people go out like that, but... Yeah, you guys ever seen like videos where they use sound to shatter glass? Same idea, but with a bridge. It ended about as good as you thought it did. That's cool, Arjo, thanks for telling me. That's cool, man. And you, you served in the Bundeswehr. Cool, man. Neat. That's a remarkable Conry. Thank you very much. I practice every day on stream. The bridge collapsed on 1831 because the soldiers marched across it. It's e even in our law, it's forbidden. Section 27, paragraph six of the German Road Traffic Act per permits walking in step on bridges. The command in the Bundeswehr for this is without a step march. <laughs> Dude, that's pretty funny, man. That's cool. I mean, once again, the death part isn't funny, but the law, yeah, that, you know, you look up laws and you're always like, why is that a thing? Well, most of those are written in blood, man. War II, combat engineer in the army. You know what else doesn't mix well with bridges? C4. Sounds like you were doing some sapper work. Why? Why? I didn't notice. Hey, Jojo. Sinkhole. Yeah, all right. Got to get rid of it real quick. The frontage roads will be sufficient. Sometimes the roads come in flappy. I do not like floppy roads, okay? I like to make the roads as smooth as possible. I know people are like, dude, it's not that big of a deal. You know what? It is that big of a deal, okay? You know why it's a big of a deal? Because it's my stream, all right? That's why it's a big deal. What's up, man? Good to see you again, buddy. How was your week? Good? Hopefully I wasn't gone for too long. You know what else isn't a big deal? Blackjack, two cards apiece. Oh, yo, Jersey, what's good? Lark Squad, you out there, though. What's up, man? Huggy, don't do that again, okay? 
Don't don't do that again. Hey, hey, you know this is your daily your daily vibe check to go see Jersey. Hey, look, look at the Jersey. Oh, oh, look at this district. This is beautiful. It's beautiful. Look, look at this beautiful intersection right here. Look at it. It's freaking perfect. It's freaking perfect. Look at it. All the cars are moving. Discovery, go at throttle up. Is that Newark? Yeah. Yes. Save check. Gotcha. Is it is supposed to be it's supposed to be like Newark or Hoboken or something. Yeah, don't seriously don't ask. You don't want to know. Yeah, once all the foliage fills in, it really makes it look it really makes it look good. It, it, it actually came out pretty good, man. What do you think? We metal lens esque enough here? Actually, all the plants filling in in the swamp really. That, dude, it really came together. The Jersey Junction, what's its function? You know? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Those, these stacked bridges are going to be. A nightmare once they need to be renewed. <laughs> yeah, Sherman, you want to see something funny? Uh oh. <laughs> The Joe Pesci Freeway. Is that what I called it? Hey, yeah, it's me, the Joe Pesci Freeway. Hey, it's not funny, all right? How am I funny? How's this highway funny, huh? Funny like a clown, like I'm here to amuse you? What the frick is so freaking funny about me? Installed. I didn't say that it doesn't look cool. <laughs> okay. What are you scared of the dark, Marv? Wow. What a hole. Another good Christmas movie. Bouncy, I was outside of this damn building on Tuesday. I was outside of this building on Tuesday, man. Damn it. I missed it by that much. Seriously though, there's like more in there. Yeah, there's more. Also, since Thanksgiving is over, I think you know what time it's for. Apple 
bottom jeans, the boots with the fur, shoddy at the old damn club, looking straight at her, baggy sweatpants, Reeboks with the stripes, then she turned around and gave that big booty a smile, she, she hit, hit the floor and next thing you know, home. She hit the floor and next thing you know home She hit the floor and next thing you know home Shawty got alone She hit the floor and next thing you know home She hit the floor and next thing you know home She hit the floor and next thing you know home Shawty got alone Apple bottom jeans I can't, I can't do it, I can't do it I can't uh. I can't do it. I can't do it, man. I can't keep doing that. <laughs> what did my ears just witness? Uh, El Diablo. All right, so. Bro, we just need more lanes, bro. Bro, one more lane. Just one more lane's gonna fix it, bro, I swear. Just, bro, we just need one more lane, bro. Please, bro. Please. You're not listening, bro. Just one more lane. Please, bro. Alright, so... Here's the part where I need the road to elevate. 2% grade. Is that in line with the rest? Yeah, it is. Now, does that transition off the, the dirt look good? Yeah, yeah, it's alright. It's not bad. Yeah, it came out alright. Thank you for linking that. Yep. We don't really have a gradual transition here. I, I don't like that. We have to have like a, a hard stop point here for the thing to go elevated. So, okay, guys, the reason why I'm kind of obsessed with making these roads flat is because the flatter the road is, the smoother the traffic goes. Your road has bumps in it, it goes up and down, left, right, kind of makes a twisty, turvy mess as opposed to being like nice and flowy, awesome roads. Traffic will go slower. We know that. We proved it. Uh, if there's hills on your road, traffic slows down. That's also the real reason why highways are very, very smooth, very straight. They don't curve unless they absolutely need to. Even on ramps, uh, on ramps are try try like modern on ramps or mo modern ramps for any types of highways try to be very very smooth. That's entirely on purpose. Yeah, Valk, it was pretty awesome, dude. Yeah, Rip, that's that's the style that I like to build in, dude. I, I, we got to make it right. That's weird that it built half of a retaining wall here. Hold on a minute, dudes. 
Oh, I see why. Any guesses for Starship V2? Uh, payload bay. A more fleshed out payload bay. <laughs> he said fleshed. looks good here. I think this road can shift just a little bit. Let's go right here. See if we can shift that road to be nice and straight. We smooth. Actually, I don't think I got my grades right here, but we have to get under that ramp anyway, so that's, I'm gonna call that one good. Okay, so first road, and the easiest one is the connector to the Elizabeth Highway, so we can get rid of the footpaths. I was just using that to kind of guide where I needed to go. I was trying to basically just draw out what I want. Let me check what the terrain looks like here. I'm gonna make sure that we're on a gradual. The, basically, the same flatness. Do the all this flatness. Let's grade it out to road height right here. goes down to 2.9% grade, 2.7, 2.5, 6 is good. This doesn't look bad, but what I'm kind of thinking, maybe we should curve this around, make it go up a little more and curve it and connect it into Cooper. That way we don't have a ramp next to, uh, an entrance next to another entrance. That That's a good way to make traffic. That one, since that ramp was so ridiculously easy to make, that, I mean, we can play with it a little bit. I ain't got nothing but time, baby. One more lane, bro. Please, bro. Please, bro. Just one more lane, bro. Come on, bro. Please, just one more lane. Please, bro. Please.
Bro, please, please, just, please, just one more lane, bro. That, bro, it'll fix the traffic, bro. I swear, bro. Please, just one more lane. Oh, oh, the simulation stopped. The game's like, what did you just do? Oh, she's chugging. Go, 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 go. I think I lost them. That's brilliant. Oh, that's wonderful. Dennis Bergkamp. Dennis Bergkamp. Dennis Bergkamp. Dennis Bergkamp. It sucked. I didn't like it. All right. Sometimes making the road backwards really, 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 really big man helps. Is this five blades going into two? Yeah, that, ignore that part for now. Yeah, ignore that. This, this intersection is not finished. It's... Yeah. If you're wondering if that's going to cause traffic, oh yeah, for now. But hey, Rome wasn't built in a day, okay? Chat, sometimes you just got to look at yourself and say, when in Rome, okay? Much cleaner. Actually, we could do, if we really wanted to make this look right, and we are going to, because I ain't got nothing but time, baby. We're, uh, see how it kind of, that peak of the hill here, we really wanted to keep traffic high, we would have to, we would raise that pillar up a little bit. So, keep the traffic flowing at high speed. Keeping them high probably is good for someone but I don't think that's going to help us particularly in this scenario. So if we raise that up and then try to match the downward incline here. Yeah, baby. And it still doesn't match it. I mean, yeah, no, I'm sure it'll work for some people. KG, for, for real, dude. I'm, I'm sure some folks in chat just went, huh? huh? What did what did he say? Stack flyover ramps, dude. See what I'm talking about? Now that looks pretty high, way. It still would be better to make it just a smidge more gradual. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah. Yeah, buddy. Now we're talking. See that? Smooth. Smooth. You know, there's a song. It's called Smooth Up In Ya. Do you understand the analogy? Well, you should have. Jeez. Needs more, need more lanes, bro? Please, just, please, just one more lane, bro. Bro, just one more lane, please. Why don't you curve before instead of after? It makes the verube smoother. The, ver, the verube? Smooth operator. The left lane merge here does kind of suck. That's going to create some issues, but whatever. You know, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, KG, I, I think I, I think I may have zigged when I should have zagged. I don't think it's, I think it's three. Go at throttle up. You're going to the big game on the ninth. Which big game are we referring to? Army Navy is at Gillette? Oh, well, shoot, I didn't know that. I was like, Army Navy? Maybe? Or Monsterfish? I didn't know that. That's, uh. That's cool. Um. I hadn't planned on it, but that's cool. It should be in this city. It should be in this city, dude. Look at this highway that I built. How am I going to weasel a freaking intersection in here? Oh, boy. Oh, that's happening again. That's... You know what? <sighs> That's a future EJ problem. Uh, yep, that's a future EJ problem, I think. Uh, so it means it's not ours. Not our problem right now. So the challenge here is building around an uh, old intersection on the old part of the highway. That is, uh, yeah, that's gonna, yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna be tough. Can you show me the roads fast, please? I want to see how they are. Thank you. You're okay. There you go. I showed you the roads. Go. Discovery. Go at throttle up. I don't know. My voice. 
I know your city's inspired a lot by New York City, but what state, city, and weather is the climate most like? Not New York, that's for sure. That road, that road ended up being too high up off the ground. That's why I got to remake it here real quick. Um, I think our longitude and latitude coordinates are in the southern he hemisphere. So I think climate-wise, Erudite, we're kind of like Buenos Aires, I, th I would say. How did he build that? A lot of time and a lot of patience, Josh. Here we go. Had to make that go down a little ways. There should be another support there, but the game doesn't want to do that. trying to connect this <laughs> hello Rocky wie geht's und danke danke schon mein Freund ja ist gut ja Woo! that's another future EJ problem yeah I think you might be right <laughs> I think you might be right buddy <laughs> so good, yeah, 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 it's fine, it's, it's fine, it just looks like spaghetti, but we're good, it's good, thanks dudes, here, wunderbar, yeah, yeah, dude, it, you have to get this nuts if you're gonna build out a city with this much pop, I, I, honestly, short of building, like, a bus, and subway that literally stops at every single block, you really have to build some pretty immense traffic architecture, which, you know what? I think that's really cool. I'm trying to build it an American style city, so it has traffic. The game's realistic as far as I'm concerned. That makes sense. <laughs> Thanks guys. Nina, you gotta learn patience. I can teach you how to play if you want. I mean, it's, it feels like I'm juggling a lot. When we, actually pushing the city up to 400,000 or at least close to 400K, really, 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 I, I cannot stress how much that messed up the pre-existing infrastructure. You're clogging the streets with an extra 100,000 people. Well, maybe not all those 100,000 people, but it really does put stress on your infrastructure. That is exactly how real cities work. I know that's how real cities work. Anybody that's commuted in a, in a city before knows it's a pain in the butt. Well, Ginger, I know what people are saying, and this is, this is one of the big critiques that I get about my city. This doesn't look like a city that has a population of 400,000 people. And you're absolutely right. People commute in this game, dude. Think about it. People are commuting. They take the train to the city. So this urban center, we might have 300,000 people, or th oh, almost 400,000 people in the urban center. People are commuting from outside connections from trains and cars. And there's inner city buses too. So yeah, you're right. It does not look like the th uh, population center for a 400,000 person city. Absolutely, it's not big enough. But that's because people are commuting from outside parts of the city. So like, it's there. I'd like to see if we could figure out like how much commuters and how many people are coming from out of, out of state, so to speak, to work in the city center. I'm not sure if there's a stat for that somewhere, but I'm pretty damn sure that's what's going on. Right? Because you're right. This looks like New York. This looks like a city that, I don't know, 
Like, if we just looked at this part, dude, maybe 400,000 people, right? Like, maybe, but also, you know, there's way too much green for this to be a city This of almost half a million people. No way. I agree. Do you mind if people ask game questions? Regerts! Oh, no. No, 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 no. When I'm building, I try to focus on building because untangling that mess kind of needs all my attention. But if you guys have questions, just tag me. Yeah, tag me. I have like 5,000 hours in City Skylines 1, and I'm pushing 200 in Cities 2 already. I'd like to think that I kind of know what's going on, but if you kind of just looked at this at face value, it looks like I have no idea what I'm doing. But I, 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 these are all the problems that... Most of these problems are happening from traffic. Can you put tolls? No, I can't do that yet, John. Yeah, population density is definitely better represented in two than it is in one, by a long shot. But anyway. We could go out here and expand our suburban districts, which probably is not the uh, worst idea. Oh, stop lying. We, we know you focus on making it look like a horse head. No. No. I don't know what you're talking about. Nay. Nay. I, I did that. That's by accident, man. I did not mean for it to look like that, but here we are. Do you produce tutorial-like content? Well, Rocky, I'm a STEM streamer by trade. All you have to do is ask. Just tag at EJSA. First kill, what's up? First time checking this stream out? Right on. Bucket! Bu -bu 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 bucket What's up, dude? Yeah, Hunster, for real. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, I do have some tutorial-like content, guys. Uh, but yeah, just ask me. But I am kind of cooking right now with this here. Any tips on electricity? Okay, regards, electricity works in City Skylines it, too. It works much more like real life. Much more like real life. So check this out. Your wires have a capacity for high voltage, 400 megawatts. So you have to really kind of divert where your electricity goes. Now, you can't just have one power line hooked into your power plant. So what the developers did was they gave you multiple connections. Because sometimes you're going to need two, three, four lines out to be able to hand with, handle the elect... Hand with? Nice. To be able to handle the bandwidth of the electricity, right? So you could have one power plant. If it's connected by one power line to the rest of the city, you're gonna have a big problem. You'll short out, you'll short it out. And on top of that, you need to distribute the power through substations. These substations right here are basically three phase, what's called three phase AC transformers. Well, that would be a step down AC to DC transformer, but whatever, whatever, Electri electricity is weird. Long story short, dude, if you really wanna understand like the basic basics of electricity and how it works is that this is a pipe moving water. It's not moving water, it's moving electricity, right? Discovery. But electricity has current, water has current. Same idea, same concept, not the same. Don't mix water and electricity, not a good idea. Please don't do that, ever. Um, but you, you need to be able to handle the higher throughput, so you need quote unquote a bigger pipe. Now you can't make a bigger pipe in this game, so you gotta add more lines. Simultaneously, if you try to put too much if you try to pull too much voltage through a transformer, the transformer pops. It, it explodes. Just like it does in real life. You guys ever see people fi filming like, you know, a transformer just blows up, it just pops like a firework? Put too much water pressure through the pipe, the pipe bursts. Pretty straightforward stuff. Electricity kind of does work like that. That's, that's how you got to go about thinking about it. Now, don't get me wrong, there's... There's water and there's electricity. Don't don't mix those. But the second you start thinking about electricity like moving water around, it makes a lot more sense. Hey Rocky, thanks for the prime sub. The traffic jam seem impossible to cure, very frustrating. Well, you found the right stream to to help fix that problem. Yeah, exactly. Aglex says it. Pressure equals voltage, flow is amps. 
Volume per time is watts. It's a good analogy. It works just like water. It's the same concept. <laughs> yeah, exactly, TMN. So, how you gotta regards how you gotta set up electricity <clears throat> is I have a substation, right? I have a substation right there for the entire Moranis di district. <laughs> the Moranis. <coughs> and if that substation, if if the pull, if if the pull from this exceeds right, 400 megawatts, which it's not even close to. If it exceeds it, well, we got a big problem. Transformer, well, our, actually, our transformer capacity is 80 megawatts. If the draw, if too many people are trying to use electricity all at once, and the amount of current trying to flow through this is greater than 80 megawatts, well, you get a you get a rolling blackout. That's how rolling blackouts happen because you don't have enough pressure, water pressure, to fill up fill up everybody's electronics, right? In this case, you don't have you're not making enough current. You don't have enough current to 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 keep all the electronics powered on all at once and you can make you can make a short. That's why modern houses have circuit breakers. Cuz when you try to pull too much, right? Too many electrons are flowing through a wire and electrons flowing through a wire has resistance in it. Basically, the electrons will bump into the copper that they're going through, the copper wiring that they're going through. If too many electrons try to go through all at once, too many electrons bump into too many things and, the, and it starts to generate heat. You generate friction. And the wire, well, melts. That Shorts usually cause cause that because you're, you're putting too much electricity through the wires. So you have to, long story short, what I'm trying to tell you is if this substation isn't good enough, you're going to have to add another one over here somewhere so you can distribute the power equally. Because if you're, you're trying, if you bottleneck it, you basically, the transformer will basically explode. That's what happens in real life. Cities actually is a little bit more forgiving. It just says, oh, you got a bottleneck. In reality, your transformer would blow up. Too much heat, too, mon too much electricity. Where do electricians get their supplies? Ohm Depot. Don't do that again. So how I distribute electricity is, well, if you follow the current, right which way the current is flowing see i'm distributing out of my nuclear power plant called three smile island we're distributing one for export and we're distributing one for power for the rest of the city and then there's one that goes over here combined with my waste treatment power plant or my trash power plant and that goes into the substation in stugatz right here so Stugatz, the entire district of Stugatz only has one substation. That's it right there. But we do have a power plant powering it. But the entirety, if I'm looking at this right, we're using 48%. So we're using what? 38 megawatts, 38, 39 megawatts of power in the entire, this entire district. That's yeah, that's about right. That, that seems fair. Yeah. Also, side note, there's a reason why transformers and stub substations have a big fence around them. Because if you touch that, if you sh if you create a connection, you're going to get, well, in this particular case, 38 megawatts. Yeah. They'll find some dust. Don't, yeah, there's a reason why they don't want people going near these. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Yeah, they'll, you know in Fallout when you have like a fusion gun and you shoot somebody and then it's just a pile of dust? Yeah, that. That's why transformers and substations, or transformers that are in substations are, yeah, fenced off. Don't go near those. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Bad idea. Now, here, let's go, let's take a look here. Actually, let's go back to Moranis here. 18%. That's that suburban district is barely using anything. I need one for mosquitoes. You ever see any mosquitoes around substations? I think not. There's a reason for that. It's a big bug zapper. No, they they're not giving off light, so bugs don't go near it as much. But anyway. Anyway. Regards, does that help? You have to basically distribute your power like branches on a tree. You need more substations if you have a bottleneck. 
It's a little bit more complicated than cities, but it's way more realistic. This is how, that's how real grids are set up. What do you think the grid is? It's a substation that's connected to a certain amount of houses, right? And then down, down further, there's another substation. Oh, it was great, Chief. Good times. The grid, digital frontier. I tried to picture clusters of information as they move through the computer. What do they look like? Ships, motorcycles, or the circuits like freeways? I tried to picture a world I thought I'd never see. And then, one day, I got in, man. Tron? Yeah. Yeah, the grid. Flynn! Am I still supposed to make the perfect system? Yeah. Tron was a cool remake, dude. They actually... That was a Disney remake, or a Disney sequel, that actually was quite good. Tron Legacy was fantastic, dudes. Still good. Still holds up. I watched it a couple months ago. Still good. Somehow. It's gonna need to plug into Chester Highway. And I am not 100% sure how we're gonna do that. Well, let's think about this. Broad Highway is not going to be there. That's part of the old road. We're not going to have that no more. In fact, maybe when this is done, I'm going to do a better right away for my trains. But we'll think about that later. Yeah, for real math. Yeah, no, it was really good. It still holds up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, saying dog? You know what I'm saying? All right, anyway. So... Nope, I don't want that. I didn't have the right tool on. Here we go. The lanes are stressing me out, bro. Just one more lane. The game is practically not running. Yeah, I know, Duffy. Isn't it awesome? Oh, I'm just gonna push it until the save breaks or my computer breaks. That was my that was my running rule. Yeah, cozy. It's really, really nice, nice feeling. To be honest with you.
poor computer. It's gonna go out in a blaze of glory, J Glory. Are we making a static painting of your city? Ah, uh, no, it's a GIF, actually. Bro, just one more lane, bro. Bro, please, just one more lane, dog. Please, just one more lane. I swear it'll fix it this time. Your CPU should be at a thousand. Well, you're missing a zero, but that's close. <laughs> it's overclocked, so we're. Ooh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's been like this for a month. I'm not sure whether my computer just hates me or whether it's actually enjoying it. I'm pretty sure it might hate me. Yeah. Cooking for a second, boys and girls. How does that look? No. No, no good. I didn't like it. You know what? We might be able to continue with that two-lane road. And then have the ramp up here. You might be able to squeeze a little bit more out of the 8700. This this is nice and stable, Turtle, from what I've messed with, dude. And you know, like this is gonna sound really stupid and this of me, but you know, I'm a streamer. I say a lot of dumb things, okay? Um, I really, really don't want to change my streaming setup unless I have to. And the reason why that's a little strange is because I don't mind sitting here just absolutely obliterating my processor. But, you know, we do it for the science, man. The science is important, okay? Does that actually work? That freaking does. <laughs> can, we, can we make this five lanes? Bro, just one more lane, bro. Bro, please, you don't understand. Bro, just one more lane, bro. Bro, it's fine. Just, bro, please, just one more lane, bro. Bro, come on, bro. Seriously, just one more lane, bro. Bro, just one more lane. <laughs> Oh, is this okay? Did it come in all smooth? Nah, not really. It's really kind of bouncy. I don't like it. This is the design that we're gonna go with, but you see how the road kind of bows? It kind of does this a little bit. It's because our feeder roads aren't matching the incline of this five lane road. We can fix that by basically, here, I'll show you. Yeah, see, the lane math is getting a little screwed up. So a good way to do this, like you could try to guess it or we could do this, watch. We could just build off of it, see how it There, let's test. Make sure that works. So now let's take take that, flip the direction. No, 
it's got to go up even more. Hang on. I usually don't pause when we do stuff like this. I like building with what we have, but sometimes if it just screws up the lane geometry like that, I don't necessarily mind messing with this. So, made it backwards right there. But see how I made it so the road goes up and then they all kind of match the same incline? It makes it nice and smooth. See that? That's important to get that stuff right. And now, now look at it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's still a little bumpy. Just a little bit, but that's okay. Is this modeled after a particular city? Sai, it's supposed to look like uh, in the style of New York. This guy needs Threadripper, jeez. I need something, alligator. But it is pretty cool that this game is taking... I mean, it's pretty much taking, you know, a 400,000 person city with, uh, with a six-year-old processor. It's pretty, that's pretty impressive if you ask me. Yeah, Mikhail, it was good, man. How are you? be better making let's see where does the the road being like perfectly straight get us it's always the ground transition that really screws us up see that it makes the road kind of go down and then up and then down again that's no good You know what? This road works, and just to fix the traffic problems that are d upstream from here, I'm just gonna leave it like that. But this road right here, the Valley Highway, that one right there, and Pearl are gonna need to, to meet up. So what I'm thinking is that down the road, <laughs> city's humor, down the road when I can get rid of this right here, I'll remake this to a better interchange onto the Chester Highway. Just remember, we gotta do that. Spaghetti Highway, indeed. So look, check it out, people are already using that. They're already using the Linden Connector, which is very nice. So, that's a way for traffic to get on here. We have a way for traffic to go here. Now, this one's gonna be tough. The outbound here, outbound for the Elizabeth Highway. I need to find a way to get this over there. Consider number four. Oh, yeah, the yeah. That's kind of what I'm building, dude. But all bets are off because I'm building this over another freaking intersection.
over another intersection that sits on top of a train. Exactly. I'm kind of doing something kind of like a turbine or a, or a panavia, but... I mean, you couple that with the, the frontage over here for the industrial area, this, yeah, this gets... gets a little... you know? Primrose. And since Primrose is there, we can get rid of the brook. We can get rid of that one. Because the only way... Anybody coming outbound here should be able to get to anywhere this road supplies here. Namely that one, right? Because they have the trumpet. So, alright. When we added the Primrose extension here, we made the Brook Highway redundant. We don't need that. That, that ramp no longer needs to exist. Which is good. That's good for us. <sighs> nice, Erudite. <laughs> Looks good. Voice crack. Now, what else did we make redundant here? Let's think about this for a second. Adding this the this connector right here and having the connector to the frontage road for the trucks and also having a connector into the main Chester Highway, that makes this intersection right here, that makes that redundant. This one, particularly. We don't need that one anymore. And Garnett Highway is being made redundant by that and we already saw people using linden right there so that's good actually for us just started playing is there a move it mod yet i talked to the guy joyless uh two weeks ago that that made the move it tool he said he needs some time to figure out the uh how to mod stuff in cities. That is the guy that made the move tool. His name is Cuboid. Um, I did talk to him. Yeah, he said give him some time. Nothing yet. <laughs> but he assured me he'll let me know <laughs> when it's ready to go. So I could sit here and be like, get the move it tool. You know what I'm saying? This is a really good stream title. Uh, oh, actually, just one more lane, bro. Please, please, just one more lane. It'll fix the traffic, bro, I swear. A move it tool would prevent me from remaking the intersection like 30 times, dude. Actually, let's be real. I'll probably still do it. But it'll, it'll help. It'll help so we don't have that weird hump in the road. The title was why you clicked it. Please, bro. Bro, please. Just one more lane, bro. And I hope it... Code, I hope it thumbnailed something like this so somebody clicks on it and goes, What the actual snot are you doing? Don't worry about it. One more lane, bro. Just one more lane. Just one more lane, bro. Please. It looks so slow. Time, it's slow not because the game is not optimized. It's slow because my computer has a hard time figuring this whole thing out. Yeah, the city's quite large. I, I would contend to say that I'm kind of amazed it's still running it because... We're at 396,000 people. Lead Primrose straighter back alongside the highway where it pulls Crooked off there. Double it and split the outside to go under the direction of the path you need to go. I think I made Primrose permanent. Actually, Fo, they talked about that, dude. Why they didn't just pay keyboard to, to just make move it tool? They said move it tool breaks things, uh, and they didn't want to. They didn't want to create a tool that could potentially break gameplay, because I saw the move it tool. The move it tool in Cities One does screw with traffic calculations. It absolutely does. So they didn't want to put something in there where where they'd have to sit there and figure out all the different particular permutations of making the move it tool work correctly. Like there are so many ways to break the game with the move it tool, dude. <laughs> With that being said, there's a definitely a lot of inspired functionality from that, from Move It, 
in this game. I'll give you an example. I have a highway here called the Downtown Connector. Downtown Connector is a highway that's stacked on top of each other over a boulevard. You would not be able to do stuff like this in Cities 1 without, without moving. Right? So, that tells me, at this time you need to be quiet. That tells me that they were definitely thinking about it, and they put some thought into, you know, the functionality with the road tools. Like, how do we make, how can we make functionality that mimics the move -it tool without actually making the move -it tool? They actually put some really good thought into, the, into it. Right? Because you can double stack roads. You can triple stack. You could quadruple stack roads if you want. So they're definitely thinking about that. That that tells me that Colossal looked a lot at what made City Skylines good with mods and tried to implement as much functionality into the stock game without actually implementing Move It Tool into Break It. You can actually see that. Uh, I'll give you a I'll give you a quick example. Um, here, take a look. So I love the highway building in Cities 2. It is my favorite feature by a long shot. So let's just build a two-lane two lane highway, right? Now, in Cities 1, if you wanted to build something like this, what you would have to do, if you wanted to build an off-ramp, for instance, even with Move-It tool, you'd have to place something like that down, and then you'd have to go mess with the Move-It tool to get it to look right. Because this doesn't look right at all. That's not how on-ramps look. You don't take this super sharp turn unless you live in the city and they had to jam it in somewhere, right? <laughs> jam it in. No, you want uh, the ramps. You want a nice, th a nice, you know, separation threshold, something like that, right? But even then, if you used Move It Tool to make something like this in cities, there's no guarantees the traffic would understand what the frick you're trying to do without Traffic Manager, right? So check this out. Widen that road. Look what it does. See what I mean? It'll make a merge lane for you. See, see the functionality that I'm talking about? You can implement Move It style intersections right in stock cities without the Move It tool, which is actually pretty damn cool. And we do have some primitive Move It tool functionality. If I go to this and I go to upgrade, right? Look, you can move the road back and forth. See what I'm talking about? So you could kind of slide the roads left, right, and get the lane merge to basically mimic what the Move It tool is doing. It is light years ahead of Cities 1, but it shows that they put some thought into it, man. And it, you know what? You know what? I'm very critical of games when I play them. Very, very critical. Marvelous Marble! I'm very critical of games when I play them. I'll point out the good stuff when I see it. That's amazing functionality for road building. Really good. Cities 2 has the best road building out of any city game that I've ever played. Go and throttle up. Ever. By a long shot. The only thing I think that could make it crazier would be if we had mods to work with it. If I had move it on top of the base functionality here, this would look like child's play. May I ask what's your home state? I live in Massachusetts, Rocky. What is the icon with the hard hat? Not anything good, man. Lack of labor. The traffic got so bad when I put when I built hand mitten over here. When I built this district out, traffic got so bad nobody can commute to work. Yeah. That's why that's happening. I don't actually have a particular labor shortage here. My unemployment's only at 11%, but you wouldn't be able to tell by looking. Actually, 11% unemployment is a great way as mayor to not get reelected just on a side note, but but I digest. You can just move them side to side right now, Matt. The up and down functionality is what breaks things in Cities 1, if unless you know what you're doing. And also, bro, just one more lane, bro. Please, bro. Bro, just one more lane. Okay, so... I don't want cars going down this anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of this. We're gonna get rid of one of the original interchanges that I made. Pleasant Highway. Dump it! 
Dump it. There we go. Because we don't need that anymore. In fact, I'm probably just going to get rid of this entirely. Because that connector right there is doing the same thing as this one. And that'll get more cars off of this road. And this way, we don't need three lane right there. It can be this until we figure out what to do over here. What I think I'm going to do is extend the frontage or just extend the five lane, four lane, three lane, two lane and build a bigger intersection around it or something. <sighs> All right. Guys, I'm just gonna go take a leak real quick. I'll be right back one second. Um, here, just enjoy the interchange. Ugh. Welcome back. Thanks, then. Think like. Hope you had a great relaxing time. It's great to see you back in the cities. It's great to be here, dude. I've been thinking about this damn interchange for a week. And it's been just freaking clawing at me, man. Also, Chroma shirt. I was trying to wear a Christmas shirt, but it's green. See, look. Christmas shirt. Nakatomi Praza. See? But it chromated it out because Christmas. I'll be right back. I gotta pee. I gotta enjoy chairs company. Now I have to go pee pee. Ho, ho, ho. And it's cold out. Actually, you know what? It ain't too bad, to be honest with you. I've just been in Florida for a freaking week. I was swimming over the weekend in a pool. And it was 70 degrees out. Nope. That's 20C for our centigrade friends. Yep. Nope. No. No, no. No. It's like 8 centigrade now. So, an Eastern American? You wouldn't say Eastern, Rocky. I'm from the Northeast. That's what it's called. It's called the Northeast. That's like uh, Philadelphia, Boston, uh, New York City. Uh, that's the part of the. That's the part where I'm from. It's a very um, big city, industrial, dude. So, uh, like, what, what would be the equivalent? 
uh, where you're from, like, um, I don't know, Dortmund, like that part, that part of Germany, you know, like very, very, very industry, very big city. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm from the Northeast. That's, that's where I'm from. We're the, we're the, hey, I'm walking here kind of Americans. You know what I mean? Hey, get the frick out of here. Go frick yourself. You know, stuff like that. People are, um, in this part of the country, people are very candid. Um, if you're pissing them off, oh, they'll let you know. Don't kiss your mother. What's the matter? Hey, what's the matter you? <laughs> also, public transport in this game is nuts. I have 200,000 monthly users in a city with 220k. Nice. On keto, bro, just one more lane, bro, please. Please, bro, just one more, one more bus lane. One more bus lane, bro, please, 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 bro. All right, so we're eliminating redundant roads here, which is good. I can't tell if you're from New York or Boston. Your accent is a mix of both. So I'm from, I'm from Massachusetts. Uh, Amanda, I'm from, I'm from Massachusetts, but I'm, a, I'm ethnically Italian from, from Boston, which is weird. All the Italians... Most of the Italians settled in New York, but there's Italians in Philly, and there's some Italians in Boston, so... Oh, wait. No, I've been watching too much Sopranos lately. That's... That's... That's the truth. You want me to revert to my native tongue? I got you. I can revert right to it. No problem. It. This is kind of over-exaggerated a little bit, though. But also, this is the accent that I grew up with. A little bit different. A little different. Hey, I'm in Sally. All right, cool. Sweet. I'm on the South Shore. Oh, excuse me. The South Shore. Yeah. He comes from the weird part of America when it comes to accents. <laughs> all right, all right. I believe it. Yeah, yeah. Why do you Dortmund? Was? Huh? My boy's wicked smart. Frick that building. Demolish it. Whatever. That's cool, man. Yeah, Southeast. Southeast cool. They, it, I mean, a lot of hipsters moved in over there, but it's all it's all good. Yeah, where they throw tea in the freaking harbor. Yeah, that's that's a part of the country that I'm from. Why do I know Dortmund? It, Rocky, if that's what you're asking, why do I know where Dortmund is? Is I'm a map nerd. <laughs> Can you tell? I'm a map nerd. Yeah, yeah. I like maps. That's one of my many, many hobbies. I have a very particular set of skills. Skills that I've acquired over a long career. I hate to tell everybody, but I'm a big nerd. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we we dumped yeah we dumped the eye in the harbor with the rest of the tea because frick those guys, three percent tax, get the frick out of here. But because I've been watching too much Sopranos and I like doing impressions, I can always switch back to the Jersey accent. Yeah, we want to sit here in town like Tony Soprano. We can do it. Oh, you want to switch? You want to switch to Brooklyn? I can do that one too. We can do that accent too. A lot of people overemphasize the Brooklyn, but this is really what it sounds like if you want to get it right. Differences. Keel? Isn't Keel on the ocean, Rocky? If I'm remembering right? I'm from Jersey in Italian. I do not sound that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Keel's on the water. Yeah, it's a big port. Yep, yep. Pork roll submitted. Yeah, Rocky. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's just let's just not beat around the bush anymore. Yes, I know geography. I'm an American that can point out capitals of most countries on a map. We do exist. You don't hear about us because the the uh, the stupid ones are the ones that you hear about. Yeah, no. The, 
we have smart people over here. We just decide to not converse with the weird ones. The weird ones are the ones you guys hear about. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is like, I'm a stupid one. <laughs> yeah, probably I am. Probably too. Florida man. <laughs> no comment, dude. I love Florida. <laughs> I'm pretty damn good at GeoGuessr, yeah, worthless. I was just in Florida. I was I was there. I was in Florida for a week, and you know what? It's a different flavor of the United States. A very different flavor. Rocky, what we're talking about here, Florida man, to like where I'm from, to somebody from the Northeast, is like what somebody from Kiel is to somebody from Munich. Though, not not the same. Not even close. Not, not, no. <laughs> not the same thing at all. <laughs> Have you tried spaghetti with Nutella? What? No. Catch any launches? I, nah, they delayed that Starlink launch, the Starlink 629 launch. <sighs> 38 years in, in, in the Florida, in Florida, you want out? trade it's 47 degrees up here j-rock you sure you want that yeah that's right no wrath do you get crazy amounts of snow no i gujar where i moved to i moved out of boston where i moved to is is close to the coast on both sides. Uh, so Massachusetts has a peninsula coming out of it. It's called Cape Cod. I live near that. So I have the Atlantic Ocean south and north of me. And because of that, we don't get a lot of snow. But when it does snow, it snows a lot. Are you a Pats or an Eagles fan? <sighs> Patriots. Hey, just because they suck doesn't mean I'm jumping ship, but I do like the Eagles. The Eagles looked very good yesterday. In very, very good form. Yeah, it was very nice. Very, very good game. Yeah, th that was that was good. That was quite good. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> being a Patriots fan, I don't like the Bills. I'm sorry, Bills fans. <laughs> Your team is good. I like your team. And you're way better than we are. But also, I have to. Don't tell me you wouldn't root against the... In 2017, you were rooting for the Eagles against the Patriots in the Super Bowl. Don't freaking lie. Don't lie. You were. All right? I'm just reciprocating. <laughs> I'm just reciprocating, man. <laughs> Seriously, though, we suck so bad. We've got a big problem. Okay, anyway, back to road building. I could talk hand egg for days. <laughs> to hot box. Do you require an additional lane? I think so. Did you get some Bucky's Beaver Nuggets? I ate three bags of Bucky's Beaver Nuggets when I was down there, WD-40. I gained, I gained 15 pounds. I went to the doctors this morning. I weighed 258 on the damn scale. God damn it, Bucky! They're so good, dude! Well, you could be the Bears. Yeah, Bears are pretty bad. The Patriots are pretty bad, too. What are Bucky Beaver Nuggets? <sighs> Think corn pops coated in honey. I freaking love Bucky's. You should stop that. Yeah, that's pretty much what my doctor said. She's like, yeah, yeah you, should, you should stop eating for a little while. What store did you visit? It's called Bucky's. It's, it's like, uh... I don't know. Bucky's 
Bucky's is like a, a gas station department store thing all rolled into one. Okay, European viewers, you guys are gonna get very confused here, okay? It it's it's like all rolled into one. So it's like a cool department store with really cool novelty stuff. Like there's a there's a gigantic wall of beef jerky hot sauce. There's like a deli in there. It's like a it's like a it's like a rest stop. But it's all rolled into one. It's like a gas station with like 50 pumps. And then there's like a there's a deli inside and you can get brisket sandwiches. There's a beef jerky wall. There's soda machines, the snacks, hot sauce. Uh, they have camping supplies for, yeah. Like Sheets or, or Wawa, something like that, yeah. I like Bucky's the best though. Bucky's is my, Bucky is my new best friend. But Bucky is my new best friend. I don't... Here, hold on. See. More like 500, yeah, right? The brisket sandwich was amazing. See? I Bucky and I talked. He's cool. He just <laughs> You don't look 250 pounds. Uh I'm 6'4, that's why. But that dude, trust me. Trust me. All right, here. Just let me back this up here. Look. Look at the freaking gut I got going here. This is unacceptable. Unacceptable. Disgusting. I don't like it. Now, if somebody else wants to do that, that's fine. Not me, though. Hell no. <sighs> I need some eye bleach. Oh, yeah. Your friend went there and got food poisoning, but you still want to go? How was my Thanksgiving? It was fine. Rocky was good. All good. Alls, alls is good. You plan on exercising. I plan on doing something. They just don't have Bepis product products. That's eh, alright. I, I like Coke anyway. Really sneaky? That's cool. Move more, eat less. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna focus on doing the eat less part first and then the move more part later. You were at the birth pl birthplace of Bepis? Oh my gosh. All right, anyway. So another road that we can make redundant is Linden right here. We can make the Linden Highway redundant, but we're going to have to make our, a ramp for it. Um, I need to make... So that's the frontage. I need to make something that goes up and over. Oh boy. Where am I going to make to connect this? Oh dear. Or you can move more and still eat. Yeah. So your backdrop screen is going to update with stage separation or Bucky's. I prefer stage separation. Converted American units into normal ones. Looks like EJ's a giant nerd. So in in metric in metric Loiso, I'm 193 centimeters. 193 centimeters. Hey, my pants, I'm trying to blend in, all right? I'm already a nerd, all right? I'm just trying to blend in. Leave me alone. Um, 193 centimeters and what is it in kilos? Uh, like 110? 110 kilos? 111 kilos? I'm big, big man. Big man. <laughs> anyway, all right. Why are they going so slow? Uh, they're going so slow because my computer is having a hard time simulating all of this. Yeah, that's, that's why. Everything's in slow motion because the game is chugging on my computer. 117, sorry. Well, why don't you just call me fat, dude? I don't use your made-up freaking units. Damn. <laughs> 
I'm gonna make the joke again just because it's funny. See that? See that? That's a meter ball field, all right? You know why? Because you all, you guys don't use, you guys don't use feet, okay? Can't call it football. Uh-uh, meter ball. Yeah. I'm making, I'm making, I'm making it happen. I see you have a yard ball field right next to it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I love meter ball. Meter ball is pretty cool. All right. So, you know what? You know what might be the right move? Taking the pre-existing Linden Highway that's already there and making this ramp divert this way and then connect into Garnet Highway. I actually kind of like that idea. That's a good one. We should do that. Let's see. How are we going to do it? How are we going to do it? What are we going to do? All right. So. Uh, yeah. See, this is why Cities 2, the highway builder, is amazing because it lets you do stuff like this. Damn it, now I want those friggin' beaver nuggets. Why you guys do this to me? Just one more lane, bro. Please, bro. Just one more lane. Please, bro. Please, come on. Come on, bro. Just one more freaking lane. down in the um I have one of those down in the house believe it or not well not that exact one but something very close to it I like that, but we gotta connect this road in like over here somewhere. I meant that as a joke. Oh. Well, well now I just feel bad. Are you weight shaming me, you dick? You call me fat? You can't call me fat. I called me fat. The only one that's gonna say I'm fat and disgusting is me, all right? Jerk. <laughs> that resembles I-4. Yeah, it does, doesn't it, Viscous? That's not on purpose, I swear. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> I mean, that really got out of hand. Brick killed a guy. Yeah, there were two guys and a man on fire, and I stabbed a guy in the heart. This does seem to be our best bet, and I really don't want it to be our best bet, but... But, yeah, all right, Bucky's. Screw it. I gotta screw with the radius on this corner just a little bit. And, once again, this is a good trick to do. Build the thing backwards. 
build the sucker backwards and reverse the direction. Let it run parallel and join later. <sighs> Do you look at the high five in Dallas? It looks like what you're building. Believe it or not, I'm trying to build an intersection that's inspired not from Texas, even though it does have frontage and looks like a road from Texas. Liquid up in the north part of up in the northeast part of the country, dude. This is coming out of New York City, right? You have the GW Bridge, and then you have the Fort Lee Interchange, which is where 95 and I-80 connect. So we're talking Houston-esque, like big Texas roads, right? Houston or Dallas, even San Antonio in some intersections. These intersections are gigantic. And they believe it or not, they're one of the... That right here, right? Okay, up here. The Fort Lee Interchange in Jersey right here is the busiest intersection in the United States. It's basically the pinch point to get to New York City from Jersey if you're trying to pretty much actually get anywhere in the Northeast if you really want to know. Anywhere anywhere across the Hudson River. But you wouldn't take the GW to get into New York City. I mean, you could, but take the tunnel, but that's another story. See that? I'm trying to replicate stuff like this and the interchanges that feed something like that because I'm building in New York style. These roads just happen to end up looking a lot like the frontage roads in Texas because believe it or not, 95 meets with 80 there and then it goes down here. And look at this. This is, dude, this is Texas big right here. That's Texas big all day. This is high five Dallas, you know, gigantor freaking interchanges here. They're, they are an absolute unit of an interchange, especially when you get down here. Like two big highways merge into one right here and you get some just absolute absurdity. This is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to build in this style. I'm trying to make it look like this. That's what, So I know about like the high five in Dallas, but I haven't really, I'm not really using it for reference. I'm trying to do stuff like this and use that as reference. Yo, Dish, what's up, man? 98 are roughly the number of pumps at Bucky's. Okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, Glex, I, I get it. I, I was just being a jerk. Yeah, all good. I did get a brisket sandwich dish. I did. And, yep. Good call. Good call. Discovery. Go at throttle. James, 50 month resub. Thank you. So, okay. With this ramp right here that we're making, right? With the Linden extension here, what I really, what I really need to do is... Well, I don't want to put the merge down here because of this. See, see Mill Highway right here? That's the frontage interchange right there. I really need all this stuff to merge as far away from that as possible. Because if you're coming down the King Highway here, right? And you dump in right here, you're gonna have traffic that's gonna basically be crossing five lanes to get to there. The further back that interchange is, the better. I can't move this any more forward, right? Actually, I suppose we could move it forward a little bit. We could move that frontage up here somewhere. That's actually not a bad idea. I think Bucky's is super overrated. There's always one. So I would honestly want this to merge sooner rather than later. Hey, Mr. Bud, glad you're back. Thanks, dude. You know what? Maybe we could get it up here.
Oh boy. Sometimes you gotta remake it three or four times to make sure it's right. And by right, I mean I don't want any weird inclines in this thing at all. The other thing that I try to make sure is correct is to make sure we don't do any weird radius any weird radius corners. The radius, the radii of all your on-ramps, sh you shouldn't have a reducing or increasing radius. So you shouldn't, in real life, highways don't like to take really, really crazy turns. They don't like to do something like this. You don't want a Fibonacci sequence like this because people are gonna be driving around here and then they're just gonna go straight. So you want nice, smooth radius. You want something like that. This will help your traffic flow better in cities. And in real life, it'll make sure people don't crash. This is a, it's a highway, not a racetrack. Differences. To all the traffic engineers in chat. Thanks, yeah, of course. Do you have issues with cars flying off your roads? No? No, I wait, racetrack, same difference. You're from Florida, aren't you, chef? Don't lie, you just outed yourself. Congratulations, you just out of yourself. There we go. Now we make a, a singular radius right here. Nope, Quebec. Oh, jeez. Sacre bleu. Goddamn Hebs van. <laughs> yeah, see, this is pretty much what you shouldn't do. Uh, I might need to redo Linden Highway a little bit and make a nice proper radius here. <laughs> Why is that something you shouldn't do? The smoother you make the curves, the better, surely. And, um... A reducing radius corner is something that really is it's a challenge to drive so you have a 90 degree corner right and see so you could have another 90 degree corner here you generally don't want to do stuff like this because people will start driving around the corner right start going around the corner and be like oh okay this is nice this is nice this is nice and then they'll get to here and the road goes that way and guess what guess what people are gonna do Discovery. No I'm gonna keep going that way. You'll drive off the road. Because that's exactly what happens on a racetrack when you misjudge a parabolic corner like this. Anybody a Formula One fan? Monza? Parabolica? What happened? You don't hit the apex of the corner right, you're going into the stands. <laughs> Oh, that's cool, Golly. Hmm. Don't tell me that you're also into F1. Yeah, this season kind of sucked, Rocky. But yes, yes I am. Been watching Formula One for years, dude. Since, uh, like pre-Shumi. Oh yeah. Actually, Shumi, when I started watching Formula One, Shumi was a driver for Benetton. Yep. Yep, may have uh, may have dated myself a little bit, dude. I thought Ham I thought the Hamilton domination was boring. This sucks. This is so awful to watch. I didn't even watch Abu Dhabi. I didn't watch Vegas. I don't care. 
I don't, I don't care. I really don't give a frick. <laughs> Do you explain the Florence Highway ramp on the far right? This is a frontage road for the industrial sector that I have over here, Indigo. Um, that's basically for cars that are exiting the industrial sector. Um, yeah, the Olive Highway is temporary. This part right here, it shouldn't be there. This is to make sure that my traffic that's coming from this industrial sector doesn't get clogged up doesn't get clogged up in the traffic that's going in and out of the city. This is a main artery. And one of the big problems that I have with this is that trucks get stuck with my regular traffic trying to get into this industrial area, right? So for exiting traffic coming out of here, I built them their own frontage road. Now, the reason why this looks like such a jumbled mess right now is because I don't pause the game when I edit intersections. I don't pause it. We build around what we already have, just like they would in real life. People always ask me, oh, how did you make your stuff look so realistic? How does it look so realistic? Well, that's one of the reasons. I build around what I have already. That's why my highways snake around and do weird stuff. Like, okay, there's a kink in the highway right here because it goes around that oil farm. And the reason why the highway kind of snakes like this is because it needs to go over the train tracks and around the oil farm here. So when I build intersections, like right here, that train, the train Y was already there. The intersection for the train is already there. So I built over it and then I built around it. And then believe it or not, right after that, I built under it. See, I built under it because there was an interchange right here to get to the summit and meadow highway, but I've been gradually phasing out parts of this road, Hawthorne and Strawberry. I've been gradually phasing out parts of it because that highway sucks and it's not nearly enough capacity to service this big of a city. So I needed to build a bigger one. So you build around what you got. Real roads are built that way. They're built around what you have. Here, actually, let's go to Orlando. Let's go to Florida real quick. I'll show you. Yeah. Lubana, I, I just, I can't watch it. It's so freaking boring. I don't like, I don't like seeing people. I don't, the midfield fight does nothing for me, dude. It does nothing. All right. You know, I, I'm sorry. I'm a kind of a NASCAR fan too. If you ain't first, you're last. I don't want to see the same guy win over and over again. But simultaneously, I don't think Horner, Newey, and, you know, Max, what are you going to do? Stop winning because it's not fair. No, 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 no. Keep your foot on the freaking gas pedal. Win as much as you can. I understand that Formula One works that way. It's just boring as hell to watch. Um, anyway, we're in Orlando. We're looking at I-4 here. You can see they are in this picture. They're clearly, well, clearing stuff out and grading it because they're building around what they have. Now look, look at this picture. Oops. Yeah, see, they the highway snakes through open areas, right? It snakes through open areas that are already there. But you can see they widen the son of a son of a mother trucker. <clears throat> see? See what I'm talking about? They took the old two lane or well eight lane two way, right? And made that one inbound lane and then doubled the size of the highway because frick you. No, seriously, I was driving on this road last week. It, you need that capacity. Orlando is freaking huge nowadays. I I lived there for a little while, and I assure you it was not that big when I left. But you can see, look, see? They weaseled in more highway there. Bro, just one more lane, bro. Bro, just one more lane, please. Please, please, bro. Just one more lane, bro. It's, it'll be fine, bro. Please, just one more lane, bro. So I couple that, that type of thinking, with, you know, building everything in close proximity... New York style, and you're going to end up getting a design aesthetic that looks like this. <laughs> it looks like that. And, you know, well, hey, see? <laughs> see? See what I mean? Yeah, building a style. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, y'all got any more of those lanes? What part of Orlando did you win in? Did I live in Starkiller? Uh, Winter Park. Winter Park. I'm a full sale graduate. Yeah. Oops. 
<laughs> Spaghetti! Anyways, just to cover your channel, man, you seriously need an extra lane. Yeah, I know, bro. I need one more lane, bro. Please, bro. Just one more lane, bro. Please, please, just one more. <laughs> Why is that meme so damn funny, dude? Please, bro. Bro, just one more lane, bro. It'll fix the traffic, bro. I swear. Bro, please, one more lane, bro. Please. Don't lane me, bro. <laughs> All right. We're going to need to fix Linden again, and I'm not exactly sure how we're going to do that, because now we... Look. It's Parabolica at Monza, but backwards. This looks like the reducing radius at Shanghai. Like it's the first corner to a T. We only, once again, reversed. We we can't, that's cool for a racetrack. That's how people die <laughs> on a highway. That That is how you make accidents. And I don't think that Cities is going to, I don't think Cities is that like, it's gonna make that big of a deal out of it. But also I wanna make this look right. And I think we nailed the New York freeway, or well, 95 in Jersey. I think we nailed that aesthetic. We just got to put a lot more buildings around it. Have you seen the Booster 9 tank sloth simulation video? Uh, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm fairly confident this is exactly what happened. Prop slosh during separation. See the props, the propellant? I talked about this at the beginning of stream. Basically, these rocket engines are called liquid fuel rocket engines because they take liquid fuel and li or liquid oxidizer or liquid fuel and liquid oxidizer. And during staging, when the when the upper stage fires against it uh, and causes deceleration. Um, yeah, your propellant slosh is around, which is, propellant slosh is the enemy of rocket engines. You know why? Because if you ingest gas into a liquid fuel engine, it doesn't work right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's like if you have a gasoline engine and you put diesel in it. If you put something into the engine that wasn't really designed to be there, it's probably not going to work how you think it's going to work. In Rocket's case, that usually means... You know? Is there a way to repressurize the lost pressure mid-flight? There's no pressure loss, Adino Sign. Um, there's, no, there's no pressure loss. Um, the, engines, the engines have a gas tap-off that actually represses the tanks. But... If you decelerate, you're still gonna, they're gonna start mixing and you're basically gonna make bubbly, you're gonna, you're gonna make carbonated uh, propellants. <laughs> it's gonna get all bubbly because the air is gonna mix with the propellant, or not the air, the, the gas will mix with the liquid and it'll just make bubbles. And if the rocket engines ingest those bubbles, well, once again, gas into a liquid fuel engine. Bad idea. That usually means explosions. And that's exactly what happened with Booster, Booster 9. Yeah, the cavitation is not good for it. <clears throat> yep. They can fix it through sequencing. Perhaps keep another set of engines on if possible to avoid the deceleration from the Starship engine ignition and reduce the rotation rate on the boost backflip. Yeah, Rocket Guy, easily fixable. This is this happened from conservative parameters, dude. I'll bet you SpaceX has the simulation honed in to get it right the next time. They absolutely will. It'll it'll they'll do it right. But this was one of those, you kind of have to just send it and see what happened scenarios, right? Like, this was a just send it and figure it out. <sighs> Not sure, W. If you're doing iterative style testing, guys, basically sending it, your criteria for failure or success is not necessarily whether you complete your mission. It's how much you learn. I see a lot of people making this mistake. A lot of people are arguing, oh, Starship was successful. Oh, it wasn't successful. Oh, it was successful. It wasn't successful. By own metrics. No, 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 no. That's not the way space does, SpaceX does things. If it's 100% successful, that means you didn't learn anything, which kind of goes against the iterative design approach. It should fail. It, it, should, it should have exploded. If that one had made it, I'd be a little concerned because that means they nailed it first time, which 
Well, impressive, that's not really iterative design philosophy. That's not right. Something should go wrong and you should learn a ton. That's the whole point. That's the criteria for success. If you learned something, not whether the thing did or didn't do what you want. That's not what we're, that's not the same thing. Rent too high with you? There's no winning, I swear. Is the mail at least fixed? They're working on a fix for the mail hawk this week. I'm afraid to start a new city? Uh, this happens when your demand is high, dude. The, the high rent thing is normal. Picture a city like uh, Silicon Valley. In, in, uh... A city like Silicon Valley. It's like San Jose or San Mateo, California. Or even like Manhattan. The rent is superbly high there. Absolutely. And people do people whine about it? Yeah, all the time. Does that mean you you should change anything? No. No. Well, maybe you should. Maybe you should build more affordable housing, right? Like that's your job as the freaking mayor. <clears throat> but in some places like Manhattan, you can't. You're you're space limited, right? So I don't I wouldn't get too perturbed by the high by the high rent thing. I think that's just part of the game mechanics. I can't kill low density residential demand. I can't do it. I need to make more suburbs and I freaking can't figure it out. Banning Airbnb would help so much and it's so easy. Yeah. How, Sig, how about commercial businesses? A commercial business buying a residential zone property with the except buying low density residential. That would fix the problem. That would fix your Airbnb thing. Discovery, go at throttle up. Have you seen Flyout? We're playing it this week, uh, Kidda. Absolutely. Yeah, Aqualux, of course. Mm -hmm. Marshmallows. Looks like we're cooking up some good spaghetti. How do you like your grits? You like them regular, creamy, or al dente? What's Flyout? Flyout is a new plane building game bandit that will melt your brain. Yeah. Yeah, we'll say melt your brain and leave it at that. All right, so Linden Highway is redundant. It's redundant because we have a way to go here and you have a way to go there. There's no other entrances to this highway. So we can, we can dump this road right here after that car goes off of it. We are going to have to find a way to make a nicer radius for this corner. Really, really don't like the way it turned out. Like I said, it's a highway, not a racetrack. Some people, it's apparently the same thing. Chef, I'm looking at you. This is fine. This is fine. Ugh, Mustang owners, am I right? I drive a Mustang for what it's worth. As a Mustang owner, yeah. Yeah, Poison, I don't know what to tell you, right? Like, people are a little, they get a little crazy on the wheel, huh? Do you have any insurance on your Fords? All of them. You have to, Dino Sign.
Discovery, go at throttle up. No. Hell, there's not that I know of. Hang on one second, I'm cooking. Sometimes the game does this. It basically, if you make it in a certain way, it'll start placing the roads in a way where you can't delete. You can't delete this without deleting. Well, it's looking for that over there. <sighs> that sucks. Alright, I don't want to do this this way, but we kind of have to. My hand got forced because it gave me that thing where it won't get rid of it. I usually never ever pause the game to do something like this, but I already had the intersection made. It's just the weird city's logic in this particular case that was screwing me up. Eighty nine to ninety one. Perfect. There we go. Cool. That's what that needs to look like. Nice continual radius turn. Cheater! Uh, don't hate me. All right, so we're making more of these, more and more of these roads redundant, which is good. Yeah, that's temporary on roads. Don't worry, it's not supposed to be like that. Does that guy have a CDL? We sure? pollution's getting bad. It should be subsiding, believe it or not, dude. Um, because I've gotten rid of some of the industry. We're gonna need to get rid of all this on the peninsula. I gotta put it somewhere else. I'm still... The jury's still out on that one, though. I'm thinking maybe over here because it blows it all off of the map. Do you have any plans for the old highway after the new one is finished? I'm still debating whether I should keep that highway there, Don. I was actually thinking about maybe extending my trains, building, building out more trains.
We definitely need to get rid of that. That's killing me right now. Just one more train, bro. Bro, just one more lane. Bro, please. Please, bro. Bro, just one more lane, bro. It, it'll fix the traffic. I swear, bro. Please, bro. One more lane, bro. I was actually thinking about using this as a buffer highway for this right here. So redoing this road a little bit that goes across the uh, the bridge. Ah, yes. The very insane Oneros. Mm -hmm. Yep. How's your unemployment? About 11% right now, Kossin. Right now, my unemployment's bad because nobody can get to work because of freaking traffic. Sounds good. I was just thinking the cars might still use the old highway because the distances might be shorter. Yeah. Well, I do have more plans here. See those footpaths over here? I was planning on building, believe it or not, another highway, another bridge right here. Um to cross this gap and connect into this highway over here and then make basically another highway that goes this way and then connects into that highway. I already had the plans figured out for it. Yeah, I placed down footpaths so I don't forget where I want stuff. <laughs> I was thinking doing something similar to like the Triborough Bridge here in New York or RFK Bridge, which is what nobody ever calls it. It's the Triborough. So, doing all that and incorporating all that together with this highway in the loop might be a little bit weird. But then again, that highway is pretty much already there. It's not going nowhere. When is that section getting built? I'm really trying to make this as redundant as possible so we can fix a lot of st Oh, boy. Mustang owners, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Florida, Florida moment. He's trying to pull a night rider and failed. He's happy though. Adrian, Adrian, how you doing? How you doing? It's good to see you. Airwolf, dude. Airwolf. Alright. I would play it, but it mutes the VOD. That yeah, dude, that freaking helicopter. <laughs> uh, that's a little bit before my time, Varex, but I know what it is. <laughs> I loved Airwolf. We all loved Airwolf. Airwolf was the best, man. Uh, you know, it's, like I said, it's a little bit before my time, but I've definitely seen it. You got a kid your age. Ah, oh, frick. Don't do that to me, man. <laughs> uh, don't play the youngin' with me. I got back problems just like the rest of us, pal. <laughs> Seriously, though. Please, my back. <laughs> Maybe you can stream your exercise of punching hanging meat. Yeah, 80s TV shows have the best soundtracks, dude. Best theme so Yeah, no, bar none. Freaking Knight Rider, Knight Rider, Airwolf. Those two, right off the bat. That's it. I mean, you can say Duke's a hazard too, but that's more 70s. And yes, I've watched all these shows because I'm weird. A-Team, still wanted by the government. Yeah, A-Team. Now we're talking, dude. Helicopter, helicopter, helicopter. Magnum P.I. I haven't watched Magnum P.I. Nor Miami Vice. I know I need to rectify that. We will soon. 
Thunderbirds. Oh, they're all good, man. They're all... Th dude, the shells are just so damn good. They're all freaking sweet. Can we have 18 but in the style of The Office? I'd watch it? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Alright. Where were we? So, we finished more work on this interchange here. Um, is there a way, let's see, could we make the Crescent, this Crescent Highway here? Could we make that redundant? <clears throat> yes and no. The reason why it's yes and no is because a lot of this, a lot of, <clears throat> traffic coming down the Crescent Highway that's getting off right here is going into the industrial area over here. We're going to need to fix that. And this, this intersection needs to be fixed. This intersection sucks. It's terrible. I, I might do away with the manifold, guys. It's just not, it's not doing what I want. But we can, we can make that our, our own little art project. I don't know how the frick I'm going to do that. Cross that bridge when we get to it again, I guess. One more derail? Derail? Huh. Whoa. That's cool. Alright. I can get rid of that thing right there. Hmm. <clears throat> The reason why I have this be end up being so many freaking lanes is because I don't know if I'm going to redo this and I just gave myself a wide frontage here so we would have the space but, they, but there's there's no space it, no they set the building on fire What's going on? When making a new city, do you normally, what do you normally start with? Do you have an idea what you want to build first? So Dust, my best advice, and this is, this is something that I carried over from Cities 1. Okay, so my city started right here. The first street that I made was Forest Street right there. See that? So I had a, I had a connection from a bridge going all the way across, and I ended up reclaiming a ton of land. The coastline used to be back here somewhere. See where the trees are? That's where the coastline was. I just decided I wanted more land for my city. Um, so, when I built this out, what I did was I put industry over here where the technical school is, or the EJ school for kids who can't read good and want to learn how to do other things good as well. Um, I put industry over here. And then I put residential over here. And what I did was I expanded my residential this way and I expanded my industry this way. Okay. We expanded industry that way. The reason why is because you don't want industry near houses, right? Obviously. And then in the center, I put commercial, right? What I didn't do 
is build anything right here. I did not build a thing in this area right here. Nothing. Didn't build anything. Why? Well, it's pretty obvious what I ended up building there, right? I built a throughway. Traffic is so big to get right in city skylines. It is insanely imperative that you put you, you put some good road systems in. Or else you're just going to have a, a roadblock that basically chokes off your entire city. Like that. You've got to be super careful about this stuff. This is why with this highway project that I'm doing, I'm really, really thinking about all the intersections that we need to make so my city can get, so people can get to places in my city. What a name for a school. Yeah, it's the EJ school for kids who can't read good. It needs to be at least three times as big. I have a vision. I turned left. What is this, Zay? What are you doing? What is this, a school for ants? This is called when Elon doesn't cancel a random idea he had at oh boy, 3 a.m. on a Tuesday. No, 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 no. You know what? I don't hate it. It's actually kind of cool. That would be a cool side project for SpaceX, but it would be just that, a side project. They thought about doing a subscale one, Aqualux. Yeah, but they said, screw it, just go big. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Jazz. What's going on over here? Oh, road maintenance dudes. Actually, we need to figure out where we're gonna put another, another road maintenance depot. I'm thinking one, one over here, like here should be good. Then one there, then another one over here, and then another one up there by the MPP. By uh, Three Smile Island. Is NASA completely done with rockets? Oh no, not at all, G. There's this rocket that they're working on that is quite large. Uh, let's go there. Yeah, that thing. The road maintenance is always screwing up your traffic. Yeah. I'm not sure how to fix that, Udris. I, Udris, I haven't really messed with it too much. Yeah, gee, they're working on that that big boy. That The crazy part about that is that, you know, SLS comes with a little bit of a heavy price tag, or at least seemingly does because it's total cost involved. That's what denotes the price. You're getting the price of the entire thing because NASA has to legally disclose the cost, the total cost involved because uh, it's taxpayer dollars, right? But dude, once NASA's working with this one right now just for test flights, but when we get to like super operational missions, we get Block 1B crew. That is for all intents and purposes another Saturn V, but with big, big, big boosters attached to the side. I like big boosters and I cannot lie. Yeah, it's, yeah, she thick down the bottom, dude. Super operational missions. <laughs> hey, it's got to be super operational, all right? It's a technical term, man. <laughs> just one more booster, bro. Please, please, just one more booster, bro. We, we'll get to the moon, bro. I swear, bro. Oh, God. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that again. <laughs> bro, just one more booster, bro. 
<laughs> oh god! I don't want an operational program, I want it super operational! You're damn right! You're damn right we do! <laughs> so bad. Super operational. Oh my god, I'm freaking tripping, man. Welcome back, how was your holiday? Essinger was great. Did you see the Aryan 6 hot fire test? I did, yeah, I watched it. I watched it from my hot tub. No, I'm not making that up. No, I'm not streaming it. The only hot tub stream you're ever going to get from me is me fixing a hot tub. And I'll put it in the hot tub category just because. And I'll have plumber's button and be like, Hey, all right, chat. Now I need the wrench. Can you hand me? Hey, can you get that? Thanks a lot. Hey, can you get, can you get my pipe wrench? Thanks a lot. <laughs> hey, can you get... Guys, I'm, I do like rockets, and I can tell you the finer intricacies to fuel-rich hydrolock stage combustion cycles, but I'm going to go out on a limb here and guess that that's not the place the car should be. Yeah, nerfed out. <laughs> yeah, I think, that's a, I think that's a glitch. Oh, man, Vespa. What do you want? So, okay, nerfed, good question. If you're having trouble following this, it's because if you look at this highway right here, Hawthorne and Strawberry, see that? This highway is a highway that I'm replacing. I'm replacing this highway with this highway. Hence the name of the stream. Oh, bro, just one more lane, bro, please, just one more lane. This highway over here that I replaced it with is testing a, uh, testing a concept that in real life called feeder roads or frontage roads. That's what I'm trying to mess with here. I'm trying to see if it works. So the frontage roads end up being like a very, very wide road design. We have a lot of bandwidth here. And the idea is that you have an interchange like this one. And then in between the interchanges, you have switches, basically. Mill, Garnet, Spring, and Beach right here. Um, where you can switch to the throughway, Or you can move to the feeder road. And the feeder road, well, well, feed your road. It'll basically go from like big highway to smaller highway to intersection. Instead of big highway to intersection. Does that make sense? It's kind of hard to keep track of right now. Because... The way I play cities is that I want my interchanges to look nice. And part of, part of getting them, the interchanges to look nice and part of the way that I play this game is I never pause unless I absolutely have to. I never pause the game. Because in reality, you can't just get rid of a highway and build another highway in its place. It doesn't work that way. Got to maintain the throughput. So a rule that I play by is that you build it on top of the interchange. So... I have the old Elizabeth Highway, Hawthorne Highway interchange, and I'm building the Butler, the Butler Lake Highway, right? I'm building that over a pre-existing interchange because I'm going to get rid of this highway or at least maybe use it for something else because it's, you know, it's there, right? Might as well. I paid money to put that stupid highway down. Might as well try to use it for something. Or I could use its right away for more train tracks, which is also a good idea. I also ended up giving myself another right away for the trains here as well, if I want to expand it. It's going slow because the game is simulating a 380,000 person city. That's why everything's in slow motion. Does that make sense, dude? Hey, Zeph, welcome home. How's the Robert Moses experience today? Not bad. So, yeah, that's why if you're looking at this design and going, what the frick is he doing? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to build onto a pre-existing intersection. Stop abusing that poor computer. No. What percent speed? 
Rigid, I'm not sure, dude. It's not good. Um, this in-game interchange is a part of Texas. My principal inspiration for this is the 95 exchange in Newark. I-95, or just 95. Uh, this is a major artery in the United States. Uh, this road basically runs from Boston all the way to Miami. It runs down the entire eastern seaboard. It is a big, vital, vital road. Um, and coming out of New York City, on top of being a vital road, you're also handling all of this. So 95 over on the Jersey side of things is really, 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 really big. Yeah, you get some kind of Texas style interchanges here. See what I mean? That's what I'm trying to mimic here. And then on top of that, it connects into Newark, which just. See what I'm saying? What I'm trying to tell you is that I'm building in a style that's like, hey, have a nice day, you freaking butthole. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, how much freaking rolls you want? Just make them all rolls. We're going to cook them al dente like spaghetti. You know what I mean? See what I'm talking about? Discovery, go at throttle up. Hey, oh, whoa, hey, hey. You don't, talk, you don't talk like this. I know you don't talk like this, but you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Kiss the ring. Kiss the ring. You've mentioned Texas style a few times. Could you show a few on Google Earth so you have an idea? Oh. You think this is bad? Okay. Please hold. You know how they say everything's bigger in Texas? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you see you see what I'm talking about? Houston is a big mother. That is a huge city. Look at some of these interchanges, dude. They're freaking massive. Here you got you want to see Dallas. Six thirty five, you said. That's um not in the city proper, if I'm remembering right. Or, oh what the f Funkin' waggles did you guys do? <laughs> I like future intersections, Texas man. Go north along 75. Oh boy. 75. Uh. Yeah, I think like, does this, uh... Oh, oh boy. One more lane for a friend, bro. Please, bro. Just one more lane. What the frick? That is massive. 
I ain't even mad. That's nuts, dude. That's like six roads on top of each other. It looks amazing. I'm not even mad. No, no. Just want to give you props for featuring all this stuff. Thanks, Lizzy. I try to learn, dude, and I try to build in a style so we can learn. The whole point is to learn something from my stupid stream, all right? Like, that's the whole point. What the f Like, okay. I guess the point that I'm trying to convey here by looking at all this is that, dude, someone designed this. This, this project probably took years to get right. Years to build all this interchanging out. Not, not build all the interchange, the frontage roads. Probably took freaking years to get this right. And, you know... Like, I'm not saying that people that drive over it don't care, but, you know, you wouldn't think about it, right? Look at that thing. Archaeologists are going to find this in, like, 10,000 years, and they're going to be like, this was a temple to a god that they worshipped called Otto. The Temple of Otto. Every city had one, right? Like, this is the kind of stuff that people are going to find after we're long gone. You know what I mean? And that's I, I think that's cool. Like, these are our ancient ruins, right? Well, future ancient ruins, I guess. Like, this is concrete. It ain't going nowhere. It's concrete, boy. And they are all connected. Yeah, exactly. This is our this is our legacy. That, that's cool, man. Like, I don't, don't get me wrong. Like, you know, you know, people are like, oh, the car sucks. Yeah, 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 I get it. I get it. I get it. But this is the stuff that people are going to find. Not these houses. Not all the houses made out of wood. Those are going to be long gone. You'll find stuff like this. True monuments to our civilization. That's cool, man. I think that's neat. I think that's really freaking fascinating. Somebody designed all this. And not only, like, you don't think about it. Somebody designed all this to last years, decades, centuries in some in some regards. Like, look at the... Look at, um... The roads, it, the Roman architecture from 2,000 years ago, those roads are still there. Still there. Some of them are still used. It's a 2,000-year-old road. When we're long gone, people are going to find stuff like this, and they're going to be, they're going to get confused. Because they're not going to, they're going to be like, what the frick is all this? Even after all the cars are long gone, man. They're going to see stuff like this and go, huh? What the frick? Yeah, Matt, be quiet. They really liked spaghetti. Yeah, they must have been Italian or something. It's pretty damn impressive, dude. I don't want to do GPS car toys. Uh, I don't want to do that because then I'm just going to have to do it for the next, like, hour. I want to get back to building our roads out, dude. But what, what are you trying to show me? Rome invented a lot of road concept, concepts. Weiss, we have Rome to thank for our train gauge that we use. Where is this? That's Dallas. Yeah, no problem, think. Our train gauge. So, actually, most of Europe uses this gauge, too. You have the Romans to thank for that. Four feet, eight and a half inches. That is the wheelbase of a Roman chariot. True story. When a guy named uh, George Stevenson, the guy basically the father of all modern trains, right? Came up like, okay, how hot, how wide do I need to make this? He used the Roman chariot as a guide. He was like, oh, okay, the Romans, that was good enough for the Romans. It'll be good enough for whatever I'm making now for this new type of chariot, right? Four foot, eight and a half inches. Yep. Stevenson gauge. That is, that is a direct lineage to the Roman Empire. Pretty cool, huh? Interchange in Springfield. All right, last one. And then we got to get back to work. Because I could sit here with you guys and look at interchanges all day and laugh at some of the absurdity of it. But I think this stuff is cool. And it's important to give... What the f... It's important to, to show this stuff, man. Because, like I said, this is our legacy, dude. This is our legacy. Hey, whether you like it or not, this is us. At least in the States. Oh, okay. Yeah, a bit crazy, right? 
And then he made, and then he made broad gauge. Yeah, broad gauge is what a lot of, like Russia uses broad gauge, 1530 millimeter. Ours is like 1480 if I'm remembering right. The, yep. Check out Glasgow subway system. I know about Glasgow, Glasgow subway jumping. Yeah, it comes out of the, if I'm remembering right, Glasgow's like comes out of a hill and then goes across a river and then kind of like forks into another hill. In like, maybe that was Edinburgh. I forget, dude. Yeah, that might have been Ed Edinburgh. And yes, I know how to say the damn thing right. Okay, there are Scottish people that watch the stream. <laughs> I've been corrected many times. <laughs> That's cool, Ando. Take it out, mate. It's a joke. <sighs> Last one, dude. Last one. Last one, man. Last one. Uh, bro, we need to go back to place in another lane, bro. Please, bro. Oh, boy. There's a good there's a good amount of trains going on here. I do like that. I love that, bro. That's a lot of trains, bro. That's nice. Very nice. See, we should do more of that too. I like trains. We need more trains. I like trains. It's a beautiful train station too. Damn, son. It's 1435, four foot eight and a half. It's called Stevenson Gauge. I know, that's what I just said. Is there an echo in here? Echo in here? That's the main chain trains. Check the subway. All right. Your subway can't be any more screwed up than freaking uh, transportation. Any more s screwed up than... Is it, why, What? what's the point of this? I mean, for your Abazo, yeah, that's true. But I, your subway, it goes to nothing. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I thought we were bad at trains. What the frick are you doing? <laughs> Your subway goes nowhere. <laughs> That's pretty funny, dude. <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Dude, I'm just gonna go back over here, man. <laughs> Your subway goes to nothing. Oh boy, that's like Detroit subway or Detroit's elevated railroad. De in Detroit, jumping, there's a monorail and it just goes in a circle. It goes to nothing. And guess what? No one uses it because it goes to nowhere. It doesn't get you anywhere. It just goes in a circle. It's like, all right. Oh boy. It, it literally is a circle. That's funny as hell. The people mover, yes, tries up, yes. Dude, all right. I wrote it once and it was useful to get from a parking lot to the convention center and I'm like, wow, this sucks. I could have just driven there. It's really stupid. <laughs> yeah, Loiso, exactly. Moscow has it right with their metro. The, the Moscow highway and metro system is actually a crosshair. So you have like one loop, another loop, another loop, and then you have trains that go this way, this way, this way. It actually looks kind of like a big wagon wheel. That's actually really well done. And Moscow's Moscow's loop metro stations are beautiful. They're really, really, really well made. Yeah, you guys want to see something nuts? And I know there are other nice subway stations around. Dude, some of these stations are just oof, oof. Now, keep in mind, not every single station, from what I understand, I've had people that live there tell me about this stuff. Not every single freaking station looks like what I'm about to show you. <clears throat> it's the loop station specifically. 
dude. That's a subway. That's how you make a subway station. It's beautiful. Now, don't get me wrong. I know there are subway stations around the rest of the world that look like this. We need The point that I'm trying to convey isn't that everyone needs to look like the Moscow Metro. But every subway station should be built like that. That is just... Ugh. I know that the circular lines, Lloyd, so what I'm saying is that the circular line stations look like that. Now show NYC. Yes, Electron, it does. <laughs> the title of your stream seems to be the motto of every single engineer in Florida. Stone Cold, I actually just got back from Florida. I was in Orlando last week and I-4. I hadn't driven on I-4 in a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> just add more lanes, bro. <laughs> I know about the City Hall loop, Don. Mm -hmm. Dude, I-4 was... I'm going to I'm going to go against my own rules here. I4 was ass. It was terrible. I'm, now I'll take my time out. I'll take my time out, man. Yeah, okay. I mean, will you be okay with them spending more to make it visually nice? Yeah, Eric, sure. I mean, Eric, you could have private subways. Doesn't have to be state. You could do that. That has its that's its own can of worms though, just like everything else. It's all a can of freaking worms. Enjoy it. Take a bite. Florida was doing trains, Lego. Florida has Brightline, dude. I saw it. I saw the I saw our high speed rail. It's really cool. It's really cool. It it kind of blew my mind seeing a brand new train track. Believe it or not. Yeah, I was like, dude, that new trains? We don't do that. EJ, see through. No, no. I don't know who you are. I just wanted to say hi. Hey, Lacasse, how are you? <clears throat> I saw Brightline, dude. Yeah, when we were driving out to the Cape because it goes on SR528. I'm good. What about you? I'm good. Just trying to untangle that mess. I haven't broken 400. Okay, gotta go. Elikas, did you just high buy me? You just high buyed me, didn't you? Didn't hold your attention for long, did I? Sorry, it's all good. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> you did? Oh, all right, all right. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Have a good night. Let's just pretend we didn't see that. Yeah, Dread, I saw that. I saw that part. Yeah, it's out it's out by the space center, actually. Not impressed. <laughs> Is there a Discord? Exclamation point Discord. Rotters in chat will get you what you need. Oh, goalie, of, of course. Of course you have pictures. Why wouldn't you? 
Lord. Oh, look at it. Cool. Dude. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, those are Siemens locomotives, if I'm remembering right. Yeah. Amtrak gets similar stock? Yeah. Brightline is private high speed rail, believe it or not, in Florida. It's all it's privatized. Yeah. Subsidized by the government, but privatized. It's yeah, it's for profit, which is Yeah, that's cool, dude. Dude, I saw one of these things. It was booking. It was booking down the down the freaking well, it runs next to a highway. It was going fast. It's a Siemens charger. Cool. They're going from Orlando to Disney to Tampa. Yeah. Amsterdam. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, man. When they hook that up from the airport to Disney, dude, people will use that. Can you imagine flying into Orlando and not having to rent a car to get to Disney World? You just take the train there. Take the high-speed rail there. That's cool. That's really cool. Eric, yes, grade absolutely matters with locomotives. Sure. Grade absolutely makes a difference with your train tracks. That's why if we go into terrain mode, I made my tracks and my highways realistic by making them flat. Flat as a board, dude. It absolutely makes a difference. Trains don't like going up hills, so I have cuts and fills all over the place with my train tracks. They're gonna build a station in Cocoa Beach, Lindpron. Yeah. Discovery, go at throttle up. Hey, Mash. 29 months. Yep, see? All my tracks were graded correctly. They're building out they're building out that extension right now, Nightmare, believe it or not. Actually, very recently they got approval. It's good attention to detail. Yep, grade matters, and I made sure that I like see, I wanted my train tracks to look right. The trains go faster. They go faster if it's flat. So do the same thing with the highways. Like, see, when we get out here to the Stugats, right? Track goes around here. See? And I, I even graded it through the wetlands that we made here. And when I say wetlands, I mean, yeah, they're very wet. Don't mind this place being all bare. I haven't finished it yet. Yeah, it's supposed to be the Meadowlands. It's supposed to look like it's supposed to look like northern New Jersey. What do you think? <laughs> Looks like home. I dude, you don't know how much time I spent looking at a frigging swamp to get that to look right. I spent weeks just looking at this and being like, okay, what were they doing there? Like, what are these straight lines there? I couldn't figure it out. And Chad actually helped me with this one. The straight lines there are to drain the freaking marsh. Because the the peat, peat, I think it's called, will hold water. It will hold so much water from tide from the tides that it it just becomes basically useless, and it smells awful. And it and it's um, mosquito, mosquito control. Basically, if the water the peat holds the water, it turns it into a freaking petri dish, and you get all kinds of bugs and stuff. They believe it or not, these cuts right here are man-made, and they're there to make sure this drains to so you don't give a place for mosquito larvae to hatch. See, there you go. You didn't know what those were for. Neither did I. I had no idea. But see the cuts? The cuts are there for a very good reason. Also, trash. Yeah, see, I tried to make a... The train track is supposed to be based off of this right here, see? 
See how the track's like raised up? <laughs> you didn't know what these are for. Don't lie. <laughs> Sorry, I presume a lot, Cosmic. If I'm being a jerk off, you just just say. I got you. I appreciate your candor in the matter. <laughs> Try not to take myself too seriously, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Are there even fish swimming around the river? Uh, yeah, there might be. Most likely they're all dead. You know. Anyway, keep working here. So, what else can we get rid of? Yeah, our traffic's getting a little confused by what's going on there, but that's okay. Is the traffic understanding the road frontage? Oh, they are, dude. See how some of the traffic is taking the through? And the other other traffic is... Yes, they will flow. Oof. That's extraordinarily bad. Oh crap, it's the Holland Tunnel. Uh, yeah, kind of. Honestly, that's we probably shouldn't have those there. Because now, traffic from that is blocking the throughway on the bridge. I'm gonna, I'm gonna veto those, like now. Another lane? Another lane, bro. Please, bro. Just one more lane, bro. Well, they were... they. So, actually, this is kind of a good test. And this might be just me huffing copium here. This is a good test because this tells me that the through traffic does understand what frontage does. The reason why is because all the traffic didn't just get on this road right here. They didn't get on the outer road. They used the center lanes until they got to the connector that gets to the interchange that they want. Which is... Good. That that's pretty conclusive there. Turn traffic lights off. Oh, I already got rid of the interchange, so I'm not too worried about it, dude. <sighs> Keyword bottleneck. Yep, yep. Your test failed successfully. How much time would you say you put into the city? Probably like 170 hours, Shad.
Yeah, untangling this mess in my brain is difficult. <laughs> Another interchange that I need to make here. Here's a road that splits off here and connects into the frontage. And then I need another one coming from there. Oh boy. Damn, that's gonna be a tough one. This is one more lane, bro. Please, I'm be begging you. We just need one more lane. That'll fix it. It will fix everything, bro. Please. Please, bro. Just one more lane, bro. <laughs> just one more lane, bro. Just one more lane. No, it uses whatever it has at its disposal unnoticed. This road needs to get over there.
Oh, come on. Now that I know that that can be made. All right, sweet. Here's what we gotta do. Let's level the terrain out. Make sure the terrain looks right. We gotta make a ditch for this thing. It'll work. We can weasel it in there. No tunnels required, dogs. That's awesome! Oh, hang on. I gotta fix the damn grade. It didn't come out right. Balls! Oh, why am I like this? Stop it! Town. Bring it around town. I hate it. I hate it a lot, actually. Gotta change the step right there. You know what? I'll take the raised I'll take the raised deck like that. That's fine. That's more than acceptable.
Trust me. Trust me, bro. Just one more lane, bro. Please. Please, bro. Just one more lane. Trust me, bro. Come on, bro. Please. Just, it'll fix it, I swear. Just, it'll fix our traffic problems, bro. Just one more lane, please. Score. Bro, just seriously, just one more ramp. One more lane, bro. Wow, that's crazy, Aerodyne. Jeez. Whoa, what the hell happened with this thing? the damn thing right. I didn't pay attention. Made the road go high here so the road could dip right before it merges so you, you would get a nice smooth transition there. Easy peasy. Save check. Done. I could load up an old save if you wanted to see other improvements. One more lane, bro. Dude. Man, people must be coming in here, clicking on this and going, what the f... <laughs> okay. Are you going to keep the old highway? KG, I'm not sure. It's useful, but I'm not sure what it's useful for. I got to head off to bed. Please, could you check Discord after the mainstream regarding the YouTube? No. <clears throat> I 
Don't check now because you'll forget. <laughs> hey, drummer, can you um get another ticket for that thing? Is it possible? Well, I need one more ticket. Can you see if you could get another ticket for that thing? I'll pay you back. You know that you know that you know the thing. The thing. Hi, <laughs> relieved to know that there are other perfectionist people I feel less alone. It's gotta be right, Jay Man. Yeah, if you could get one more ticket for the thing. You know the place I left the thing that one time. How was your turkey season? It was great. It was in Florida, man. It was amazing. It's 70 degrees out. Unfortunately, it's unlikely it'll be near other things. Okay. We'll see what you can do. Let me know. You got a lot of sick people in your city. Yeah. I know. Three ninety-eight, one eighty-nine, man. We're so close. Did you go to Disney? A couple of times. Do you still play the or stream the Minecraft server? The Minecraft server is still up, subs, but I don't really play it too much anymore. I just ran out of time. I don't have enough time to commit to it. I don't have the time to commit to it that it deserves. I mean, we started doing that because of the pandemic, right? And it just, yeah, pandemic's over, homie. Yeah, see, Error Error knows what I'm talking about. It's from the freaking industry. This industrial sector is killing me right now. Thanks, Fergs. It's coming along, dude. This, even as a temporary interchange, it still is just atrocious. Whatever, whatever, just leave it, it's fine. Random thought, but couldn't SpaceX carry tiny cameras that connect to the main craft and release them alongside to provide photos, videos of the spacecraft on orbit? Well, I like that shot. Now, before you say, oh, that's a 3D render. Yeah, what about that one? Or that one. That's a real picture. You believe that? That's a real picture, dude. Now, Jack, this is not a, you know, camera that's deployed off of the spacecraft. They put four, NASA put four GoPros on the end of NASA's solar panels on the Orion spacecraft. They put four GoPros on the end of the solar panels on the Orion. And we got that picture. And they, the solar panels basically work like a selfie stick. Because the solar panels on the Orion spacecraft are articulatable. 
because the spacecraft is designed to be attached to a stage under acceleration with the solar panels deployed. So the solar panels can either like Naruto run, or if you're decelerating, they can go forward like this. So because they're articulatable like this, right? And they can twist too for what it's worth, right? They can, they can twist like that. They put cameras out on the ends. They put, they're GoPros, believe it or not. And get this, you wanna hear something weird? They put a Wi-Fi, um, a Wi-Fi router inside of Orion. Yeah, just a Wi-Fi router. And the GoPros were picking up the Wi-Fi signal from the router in the spacecraft. You think I'm kidding? Nope. They just made a mount for the GoPros, attached them to the end of the solar panels, and flipped them onto Wi-Fi control. Yep. Actually, GoPros, yes. Yep. Hey, it works. Why? It works. Why would you? Why wouldn't you do that? They just ran a power line out to the GoPro, so it has power and transmitted data through Wi-Fi. I'm serious. They put there's a router inside of inside of the spacecraft. That's how you got this picture. Look at that picture. That's the moon and the Earth. That's real. That's a real picture. Ridiculous, right? Drummer, hold on a second. But yeah, that's how they did that. It's a pretty awesome shot, right? Just go pros. Yep, yep. Next thing you're gonna tell me you can't breathe in space. And I'm like, Superman can. Yeah, but what happens when Superman breathes kryptonite, dog? Then what? Yeah. Checkmate. Wake up. How does the Wi-Fi signal strength compare to on Earth? Works, what do you mean? It's close. Yeah, Evil Rays, I kinda did some work today. Getting rid of the old redundant ramps and in place for new ones. And I even reused one. That was That's part of the original ramp and I just built a new radius for it to connect in. Touche, yeah, see? Yeah, drummer, we'll see, dude, we'll see. It's cool how they added houses and buildings to this interchange simulator. Well, you're, you're an interchange. Maybe, well, add time? All right, all right, add time. All right, all right, fine. Maz, what's going on? 99 months. That's a spicy spaghetti. Yeah, I'll take a stretch break. This is looking more like the Mixmaster in Dallas. Yeah, we actually looked at it on stream a little while ago. Oh boy. I know what y'all are doing down there. You're doing something. And that something is, is different than how we do the roads up here. I'll tell you what. Joke's on you, I don't need to watch ads. Yeah, Mundo, to be honest. <laughs> Ray Mundo, nice. Ray, to, to be honest with you, if I had my way, nobody would see an ad on this stream ever. I don't want to, I don't want your money that way, honestly. I want to earn subs, I don't want, I don't like ads, I think they're intrusive, they're distracting, and they're just overall annoying. And it's never something that I want for whatever reason. You know?
So, yeah, no, dude, if you, uh, I'm not gonna lose sleep at night if people have ways to, um, get around seeing ads, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Twitch might have something to say about it, but what are you gonna do? Discovery, go and throttle up. Take my money, you had me at hello. <laughs> Thanks, man, I appreciate it. How did you keep your coming your city from just becoming a sprawl a sprawling suburb? Nah, I planned it out a little bit. Scurred. Well, first of all, I wasn't scurred, so that kind of helped. What do you think about sponsored games? I don't know, Shrek. Like if the price is right, dude, I suppose. But I generally don't do stuff like that. No, I. I basically tried to just build a highway whenever I kind of needed it, you know? And that gave me what you see here. Thanks, Total. Just one more suburb, bro. Trust me, bro, to fix the density demand, bro. Please, bro, please. KSB or KSP2? Why not both? KSP2's mash is gonna see some pretty awesome expansions. Well, actually, not expansions. We'll call them updates because it's early access, right? KSP2 is gonna see some pretty awesome updates in the future. What are the future plans for the city? Well, Rocky, this road right here. See this? I'm gonna weather, I'm gonna weather guy this here for a second. So see this road right here? This four lane monstrosity is, is getting rid of this two lane. See how the two lane goes up through the city? I built out the four lane highway as a major way to basically add more space to the city. So those green areas that you see up there, those green areas are going to basically become more city. Um, I have to fix these labor problems and I need to move the industrial areas up there and over there I need to move them away from the city because I'm getting some air pollution problems. We gotta get rid of them. Um, um, see that See that nice forest that's on the far left of your screen? I'm probably gonna take it and cut it all down and put it over there, you know? Thanks, Martin. This sounds like a lot of work. Yes. But the birds can move to another forest. I'm not sure what happens if we air pollute our farms though. That might be a problem. Oh boy. Oh dear. Yeah, exp exploration mode, Shad. We're gonna be playing that. In bird culture, this is known as a dick move. <laughs> Hypemare, how's things, man? Drivers, in our, am I right? Hey, Bauer, I saw your messages, dude. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. Also, no, Bruins are the best. All right. <laughs> that's really cool, dude. That your buddy did. Your buddy's doing that, then that's pretty neat, man. <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, that's that's terrible. Can run this game on a 9700K with two 9700 i7 9700K with 2070s. I think you, I think you'll be all right, dude. Yeah, I think you'll be fine. Yeah, I, I think I think you're okay. Yeah. Good. I'm waiting to jump into this game, but your streams are for great great for ideas. Right on. Man, but how much frames? Frames are fine, dude. Frames are fine. You wanna see? Here. Look. Oh, I came prepared. I came prepared for this conversation, Aiden. I came prepared, son. Look. Yeah, frames are okay. Zoom out, look at the whole thing. 30 FPS all day. See? So here's the thing. That's graphics, okay? That's the frames with graphics. 
Alright, so what does that mean in plain English? The frames here mean the game is... Th that's what's being rendered. So you can move the... You can move... Oh, that's an autosave that popped in there. I can move around. I can use the tools. There's no real input lag or anything like that. Game's fine. I mean, that I actually did not like that for what, it, for what it was worth. Moving around really quickly actually probably screwed the encoder on my stream too. But anyway, Aiden, check this out. Like, we're okay... But the cars do go in slow motion here because my simulation is taking an absolute crap because it's a 399,000 person freaking city. The game can't do the math to calculate the traffic fast enough of a 300,000 or almost 400,000 person city, dude. So that's what's slowing me down right now. Render, render, rendered frames are fine. They've always been fine. I've never had any problems with this game. And I've, the entirety of me playing City Skylines 2 has been streamed. So any problem that you see me have with the game is a problem that like you'd see on stream. Yeah, we should, we gotta, we gotta beef up this. At, how to activate that menu, Excl add dash developer mode, capital M, all lowercase everywhere else um, to the, to the target line on your city's executable or in Steam and you can use the debug tools. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. Now, what? A, just in case people are wondering how am I qualified to talk about this, I'm a 3D artist by trade. I know all about rendering. That's what I went to school for, actually. I'm pretty damn good at it. I just, Twitch streaming is too fun. Yeah, dude, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Just make sure your drivers are updated. And one more thing, dude. One more thing before I let you go. Um, graphics. Go here. Shut off depth of field and shut off motion blur. You want better, a little bit better performance? Shut off, turn reflections down. Shut, but absolutely shut those two off. Guaranteed good frames. Well... Everybody's a little bit different with the, than their hardware, so make sure your video drivers are updated and then do that. It should be fine. I've never had performance problems with this, ever. The game has crashed to desktop a couple of times. That's because of some render problems, but as they patch the game more, it happens less and less. Yeah, your eyes already naturally do depth of field, so I, I don't like depth of field in a game where your eyes are already doing depth of field. That just, yeah, it... All right, it's a great way to get a headache. Do you think you'll ever start a new city? Yeah, sure. When when this city conks out or I fill up the entire map, sure. Do you think a tw 2060 off of a 129, 12900 would be fine? Yeah, of course, Shad. Duh. Oh, oh, we're so close. 399,966. Come on, big money, big money, big money, big money. Yeah! Finally, 400 grand. Yes. You were here. <laughs> Is the game paused? Because I don't see any cars moving. Dude. We finally did it! It only took me a month. The road to 500k, let's go! Alright, alright. What did I tell you? 88 miles per hour! Ah. Sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, want, I mean, I would say I'm not going to do that again, but also. Just one more 100K, bro. Just one more lane, bro. Please, bro. They told me to build them a bomb, so I took their plutonium and turned, gave them a shoddy bomb casing full of used pinball machine parts. Come on, let's get you a radiation suit. No, 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 no. This sucker's electrical, but I need a, a, a nuclear reaction to generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity I need! <clears throat> See, I told you I'd do it again. Oh! 
1.21 gigawatts. How could I have been so careless? 1.21 gigawatts. How am I going to generate that kind of power? It can't be done, Tom. Can it? Jet lag, 95? Gonna cry? Gonna lag your jet, maybe? This is why we don't do crack, kids. Barracks, you know what my problem is, dude? I've been doing this for a decade, and I think being on the internet too much is somewhere along the lines of, like, being irradiated. Like, you can get acute internetation syndrome like you can get acute radiation syndrome right and, but instead of radiation poisoning you just get brain poisoning and let me tell you man I've been on the internet for a long time acute internetation poisoning it happens stay in school kids and touch grass Is there a safe amount for a normal person to not go beyond? Uh, there's been studies, but we don't know. Science. Struck the furry wall, man. Struck the... <laughs> That's pretty good. Struck the furry wall, bro. <laughs> well, then nothing could be bad about a Jeffrey. What could be what could be bad about a Jeffrey? Hello, my name's Jeffrey. I live down the street. <laughs> That's good, man. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Anyway. No, 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 no. Stay. 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 Don't you dare. One five hundred K. Yeah. 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 Yes. Uh, yeah. Soon. Soon. Yeah, there was a traffic traffic collision. That's what that traffic jam is from, so that's a phantom. It's a phantom, an, ap an apparition. It's false, fiction. We made it up, we made it up. False, not this time. You're wrong, no, we gotcha. This one was confirmed by a writer. Better hand, what's that? Did I see this? Wh what? No. Disposable. I, I communicate via movie quotes and pop culture references. It's easier to get people to learn that way. No. Give me your best shot, pal. I can take it. Yeah, right. Is that for is that for real? Really?
Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh gosh! It's real! Oh! <laughs> Sorry, Clang. Sorry, I'm a little. Uh, sometimes I get a little loud, dude. My bad. My bad. My bad. Dude. Oh no. What? Ugh. Bro. Wait. What's that? Okay, those are trees. Oh. Oh, thank God. How are people supposed to play ball? Yeah, I know, right? What about over here? Anybody chilling over here? So, I have a slight possibility of a uh, homeless problem. But seriously, this game... That's crazy that the game actually does that. That's so freaking cool, dude. Like, homelessness is not cool. But that's actually super neat. Oh, I thought those were all tents for a second. They're trees. Oh, dear. It seems to be in only, like, big urban sectors. Let's go over here. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. Discovery, go at throttle up. Hey, Coder, 23 months. Alright, well, we can expand Moranis over here. I don't think so, Jack. Actually, Moranis, ca <clears throat> Moranis came out looking pretty good. place these trees in between and makes it look right. Damn, dude. Unfreaking believable. I'm gonna have to find another place to put more freaking suburbs, dude. still have more sufficient de demand for a commercial though but I don't I'm hesitant to zone more commercial because of the labor problems that we have <sighs> okay we're just gonna have to keep are those circles crop farms yep
Yeah, more housing. Where? I'm gonna need to make another residential district somewhere or start to build a highway out here so we can get up here and up at the upper parts of the map right here with um what does the terrain look like up here we could get away with it i could expand all the residential area up here up to the hills right and we could make this kind of look like the catskill mountains or something um we're gonna need a highway, though, if we're gonna do that. This one little tiny interchange is not gonna be able to service an area this big. We'd need to, I would need to put a highway in right here, and then I would make the train tracks run parallel to it. And then make the highway go up here and put more of this stuff here. I don't really wanna mess with this area right here too much because we still need to figure out how to get that piece of crap working. Freaking useless. I think, I literally think uh, a solar panel can generate more power than that. Do you have an airport? Nah, no airport. I don't know, should we work on that project now or should we finish this? Because we still have nasty traffic problems here. And it's mostly coming from that. What's up, Dam? Dam, your your username is Dam. I'm good. Well, this Dam isn't doing very good right now, man. So you got some explaining to do, okay? I got you. All right, cool. <laughs> I'm not sure how to. Okay, I gotta, I gotta refocus. Where, where were we? So, I can't really rebuild the rest of these yet. I can't do Crescent Highway here. The reason why is that cars are because cars are using that on ramp to get to this intersection right here. That's what they're using it for. And trucks, obviously, are still using this interchange here to get to that as well. So before we go and redo mo more of that out there, we're going to need to redo this. And... Damn. <laughs> you need more water. Okay. You need more boosters. <laughs> okay. Okay.
you must construct additional pylons. I'm thinking. What if we made some type of interchange that allowed me to temporarily change the frontage road? So right now they're using this one the most, right? Because they need to make a connection down to there. That's generally why most of this is needed in the first place. But then again, if I just connect this into here right now, that'll get all the trucks off of that road completely. Now the real question is, hmm. yeah, it's like the big dig. Yeah. Have you ever been to Europe or Germany? I've been to the Netherlands, dude. Aztec. Yo, yo, one, just one more lane, Salad. Come on, just one more lane, bro. guys. Okay. Well, yes and no remedy. It's hard to say, dude. It's not like cities where you can just place the damn road, right? And if the road doesn't work, traffic would clog up on it. It's really hard to tell if a road's gonna work because there's influx in the game. There's rush hour traffic, see what I mean? It's really difficult. So what I've been doing is I'm, very, I'm really, really taking my time and thinking about what I'm doing before we do it. It's tough, man. It's a lot harder to do this right, I will say. Boss, three month three sub. Yeah, Pepega, she's a beast, man. Traffic's getting a little Pepega, though, if you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. How's the PC holding up? Not bad.
Nope, just trees. <laughs> Why are the cars moving so slow? Well, Pug, my computer doesn't like simulating that many freaking cars. Yeah, it's not happy. <laughs> it's not happy, bud. It's all good air, no problem. Yeah, when I'm zoomed in on this highway, it doesn't look like, like, dude, why are you making a highway that big? Well, that's why I'm making a highway this big. Yo, bro, just one more lane. Just one more lane, bro. Bro, just one more lane, bro. I swear it'll fix the traffic problems, bro. Just seriously, bro, just one more lane. Come on. Come on, just just give me money so I can make one more lane, bro. Please, bro, please. Please, bro, you want to you wanna help people, bro, right? Like, please, bro, just one more lane. How's your traffic flow percentage? It rhymes with grass. Can you add more houses up here? Yeah. Yeah, I could. Actually, putting houses over here would actually be kind of cool. Fast, das, gas, uh, yeah, sure. I have trains. Mm -hmm. Lots of them. passes in it's getting a passing grade yeah Peg, I never, I never use pre-made interchanges, dude. They're, that's a waste of time. That would be a waste of time. It's just gonna frick your city up. So, guys, the reason why I'm getting a little bit of an anal analysis paralysis, he said analysis. <laughs> the reason why I'm doing that is because, all right, over here, the main reason for this highway still existing is to get trucks into this industrial sector. I also want to get rid of this industrial sector because that air pollution is killing me right now. It's it's really bringing down prices. So I want to replace this with something else. I don't know, maybe a commercial district or something. Like one of those cool post-industrial places where hipsters hang out or something. And then I want to basically move all this over here. I want to move all of it over here. Um... Yeah, but we do need to work on residential. The reason why I want to move all that industry over here is because the wind's blowing that way and it blows it into the next town, which is somebody else's problem. What happens if you just delete it? Well, people wouldn't have any place to work and we get more tents, Pigeon. All right, fellas, I've made an executive decision. I'm gonna switch focuses here. It's still building highways and it's still adding more lanes, bro. Please, just one more lane, bro. Um, but this one, so I'm hesitant to move any industry right now. The reason why I'm hesitant to move any industry is because we're already, we already have a gigantic population problem 
and we're already back below 400k. That's not good. There are other the, the other problems around here are starting to mount, and that's not cool. We got to fix that. So I think I'm going to start working over here real quick and see if we can build out the highway problem to alleviate traffic from this area. They're all dying from pollution. Shh. Don't tell them that. They're going to get upset. Um, all right. I don't know. Should we zone more industry? If we zone more, no. I need, honestly, we need more low density. But if we need more low density, I gotta build a highway out here. I gotta build a highway along this. Imagine having circular farms in real life. What? We do. I think you have a worker shortage. Unemployment's at 11%, but it's a type of worker. We need, I honestly need more poorly educated workers. We just, I need more people. And we need more people. And the demand is for low density right now. It's not for high or mid, so. How many elementary schools? I lost count. I'm going to have to start on a new highway project. Okay. build a war economy it, it, build a war economy it's not hearts of iron dude all right the first thing i'm doing is i'm i'm unhooking the stupid dam and we're gonna need the right of way for a highway and this is gonna end up looking like sawmill Anybody knows what that means. But we already said that we wanted a highway and another bridge here to help supplement traffic coming inbound to the city. So what I'm thinking, guys, is this is the same highway project, technically. I'm going to rope it all in. I'm going to make a highway that basically goes... I don't know. We might be able to add an outside... I know. Well, I know you can add an outside connection here, right? We might be able to add an outside connection, right? Have the highway run down here, right? Put an interchange right here, make a huge suburban district here, just like Moranis, right? <clears throat> Have it run down this way. We could put another interchange right here built into the side of the hill that will connect into the main boulevard there, go through the forest to connect in, right? Or we could have the main boulevard go this way. And then we could fill this area all in. And I don't want to mess with this area because I want to, I do want to screw with the dams later. Or maybe we could just say screw it and relegate the dam to another map. I don't know. I don't really want to build anything down here because that's the potential floodplain for the dam. Not cool. We don't want that. Um, <clears throat> Moranis? <clears throat> 
Moranis is just a name I made up. It sounds like it. Uh, Moranis sounds like it could. Oh, Mar yeah, Moranis Township in New Jersey. No, it sounds like a Jersey town, but it's not. It's Secaucus and Paramus kind of combined. Also, Rick Moranis. Yeah, it's the the elevation change on the dam is killing me right now. Morristown represent. There's, there's my guy. Hey, oh, there's my guy right there. Hey, <laughs> I'm not from Jersey, dude, but hey, I did make a district that was inspired by North Jersey. I think, uh, you know, we called it the Stugats. It's a nice district. Look at it. It's perfect. Look at it. It's a freaking perfect district. There's nothing wrong with it ever. Do I have a nuke? Sure. I built the nuke out here. It's called Three Smile Island. You made Hoboken? Yes. Three Smile Island, see? One, two, three. Three Smile Island. And yes, this is supposed to look like Hoboken. How did I do? Not bad, Burnt. Right on. Repping that PA claim to atomic fame. <laughs> Three smiles, bro. It's all smiles. Come on. Hey, Badger. Welcome back. How goes your traffic woes? <sighs> so, okay. Here's what I'm thinking. Yeah, Burnt. Yeah, I took a little bit of reference from just different parts of northern Jersey over here for this Dugats. Don't ask, seriously. <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, and this is supposed to look like... Um, the reference that I took for Moranis was... Uh, kind of north up here, like Inglewood. Englewood, uh, Dumont, Bergenfield, Milford, Cresthill... <clears throat> That's the reference that I used. I used up here. So you kind of have like almost grids. Almost. Like see, they're, they're not exactly grids, but they're kind of grids, but they're not exactly grids. With huge thick forest in between. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, Englewood, I, yeah, I took a lot of reference from up here. And then I looked at this and said, uh, I've driven that a couple of times. <sighs> Busiest intersection in North America right there dude it's a freaking monster the G dubs dude yeah holy balls that's impressive <laughs> my god <laughs> looks like fun to drive there you know what dude it's not so bad it's not bad. It's not like you're going fast. Am I right? It's not like you're going fast. Look, there's a traffic jam on Google Earth. You ain't going fast. It's really easy to navigate because you have a lot of time to read the damn signs. That's, you know what? That, yeah, it's true. 
I'm heading to bed. It's midnight in the UK. Have a good one. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Good night. <laughs> it's true. Your clutch will hate you for this. Yeah. But what if nobody let you over? Ah, see. Hideous, you, you've you never driven in New York or New Jersey. No, 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 no. Actually, this goes, this, this rule will apply for Baltimore. It'll apply for Philly, Jersey, anywhere in Jersey, New York City, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts. Once you get up to New Hampshire, you can't really do this. People will get mad at you. If they won't let you in, just move your car over there. Just do it slowly. Just wedge yourself in. They, they'll beep at you, they'll yell at you, yeah, whatever. Whatever, you merge. That's how you merge in the city, dude. Yeah, you just kind of put your car in, point your car at a point between two other cars and just keep rolling that way. They're either gonna stop or they're gonna go. If they go, you stop and then you just wedge in behind them. No directional needed, that's how you do it. That's how you drive in the city. You gotta be a little bit, you gotta be a little aggressive. You gotta be a little aggressive. It's true. No one's using that damn parking lot anyway. It's the damn, damn parking lot. You forgot the obligatory last step. What, flip them off? No, no, we don't need to, we're gonna do that. So, okay, because I wanna make another bridge over here, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a highway that snakes this way and then runs along the coast. Yeah, I don't do the flip off part. I just go, ah. But see, once you get into the densest parts of the city, you just do that and people don't even beep their horn. They're just like, man, yep, that's what I would do. And they just, yeah, they don't even get mad at you. Because that's true. Real talk, I, I used to have road rage, but now I just assume everybody has a gun and is not afraid to use it because that's true smile. Ooh, too real, man, damn. Yeah, I'm trying to get more hotels in there, Kuro, yeah. All right, this needs to stop. That's what's making all that traffic in there, that stupid merge. I gotta build a new right away over here. But this right away is gonna be a little bit crazier because I need I need an intersection that goes from, yeah no, we should uh, I'm not sure what to work on. Uh, there's so much crap that we need to fix. I think this is the easier thing. This is the low hanging fruit, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um alright, let's let's start this project. Bro, just another lane, man. Bro, seriously, bro, just just one more lane, bro, please. Please, bro. Alright. Yeah, Stalin, exactly, that's what they do. Alright, so the right of way for this highway needs to go this way, and it needs to go over that. So I gotta build an interchange on top of another interchange, and then the road needs to curve through here, 
in the space that we have available and then turn this way and we need to make a bridge right here. And then I need to make it go through the swamp. And then we also agreed on making it split there because I hate myself. Any advice or tips for a first visit to the US? Uh, I don't know, go see Washington DC. That's pretty cool. Air and Space Museum is a good time. All right. We gotta go underground to the next town. They get mad when they come to raid my pad and I'm off in the nine deuce cat. Yes, I'm the pilot captain of this ship. Sorry. We're, I'm building the thing underground. I'm building the wires underground because there's gonna be a highway here. I'll replace the wires later. Yeah, the U.S. is a monster. That's what I mean. Just go see Washington, D.C. for now, dude. It's a big place, man. La Critura. Is this the thing that came in the port this morning? Oh, no. Forge, did you see what came into Port Canaveral this morning? Also... Yes. All right. What do you What do you got for me? Cybertruck wake up light sequence. Dude. Discovery. Go at throttle up. Whoa. Zelly Cybertruck! Yeah, Cybertruck. Zelly, it's Cybertruck with Tejas plates. Dude, it came alive. You see that? Oh, that's killer, man. That thing is actually super cool. I'm just. Guys. I'm just waiting for somebody to take Cybertruck and take the top off of Cybertruck and, you know, well, you know, Sorry, I can't look at that thing and not see a warthog. You know, I don't want to call it the M12 LRV because that's too long to say in conversation, son. Have a favorite Halo game? Two. Can't wait till we're still using the deuce on the aliens. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Who else started hearing the drums? wonder why we're here. It's one of life's great mysteries, isn't it? Are we the product of some cosmic coincidence, or is it really a god watching everything? No, no, no. I mean, why are we here in this canyon? Oh, yeah. 
So all this talk about God. Uh, nothing. You want to talk about it? No. You sure? Yeah. No, but seriously, why are we here? You know, as far as I see, the only reason we have a base here in this box canyon is because they have a base there. And the only reason that they have a base over there in this box canyon is because we have a base over here. So even if we packed up all of our stuff and left, they would have two bases in a big box canyon. whoop de frickin do Dude, I remember when that came out. <laughs> Interestingly enough. <laughs> yes, though, that's awesome. Browning would be proud of proud of every alien taken by the deuce. Yep. Yep. Yeah, disposable. So Rocky, look what disposable hero said. That's right. It depends, dude. Every state is like visiting a different country in Europe, man. They're all different. Every single one of them is different. Every state has different laws. Yeah, yeah, Goose. Yeah, oh my gosh. I actually enjoyed the library on Legendary. Well, I knew you were sick. I knew you were sick, cook, sick, uh, sick puppy, but geez, thanks for letting me know. No, I'm just kidding. That's hard, man. Library on Legendary was, you had to be a sadistic melon farmer to want to do that. At least the flood gave you lots of ammo to use. Dude, the human flood were such a pain in the butt, man. With freaking with the MA5B, the dug 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 Ugh. Piss me off. Alright, where are we on on here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Big group of fish! Alright, we're gonna make this. We're gonna, I'm gonna extend the tracks. We're gonna extend them. We're gonna extend them, yeah, extend the train tracks. The noob combo in Halo 2 was hilarious. You really, you really want to, you really want to freaking lose friends? Noob combo them. It's like playing Super Smash Brothers with your friends, dudes. Just don't, unless you want to lose friends. So the first part of this project that I'm going to work on is extending my train tracks because if we're going to build in New York style, right? If we're going to do that, tracks were there first. Trains predated the automobile, right? So we need to build the tracks first and then we'll make the highway go around the right of way. What I'm planning for this district is uh, if we go a little bit north out of the city, you, it, you know, you start to see, well... You start to see more trees and stuff. So I'm thinking, yeah, up in Yonkers, right here. Something like this for this district. Probably not as populated as Yonkers. We need to go further north. But see how there's a track that's running next to the Hudson River right here? That's the kind of stuff I want to I want to do. We might need to make the train go up a hill a little bit, though. That's awfully low. And if we want to... I don't know. We want to go with the dam here. It might need to change some things. How long did you take to make this city, Naruto? Uh, oh, dude. Uh, probably like 170 hours. 
You gotta, dude, when you get up to this level, when you get up to 400,000 pop, we're at 39.9 right now, or 399.9. When you get up to this, you really have to worry about your infrastructure or else you will just choke your city off with traffic, even with subways, dude. 25% of my population uses the subway and it's still not enough. Gonna have some sort of climactic battle there. Are you trying to recreate it one-to-one? -one? No, no. Denisic, I built in a style. I built in a style. I don't try to copy exactly. Like, think like GTA. You know, if you ever played a GTA game, they're kind of like their real life counterparts. There are bits and pieces, but it's not the same thing. Like that. That's how I do this. Right now I'm building in a tri-state New York style. So Connecticut, like Southern Connecticut, obviously, New York, Staten Island, like Manhattan, NYC, Static Island, Staten Island, and Northern Jersey. That's what I'm trying to do. Have you copied the NYC subway system? No, but we do have a pretty damn extensive one. It's underneath there. You can't really see it. I'm actually pretty much exhausted my depot. I need to put another depot if we want to extend the subway even more. Did you copy the distinct pea smell? No. Having tracks by a river isn't a great idea in real life, though. Oh, yeah? What is this game called? City Skylines, dude. Would you mind to show the subway tracks? Yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, Bulldoze. Underground. There they are. Yeah, it's a pretty crazy, pretty crazy subway network. Those two right there that are running parallel to each other, that's a road. Everything else is subway. Page down shows underground. Oh, Pigeon, thank you so much. Oh, you're the man, dude. You're the man now, dog. Dude, my subway sees... The subway sees, look, look, check that out. 98,000, 25,000 on the trains. My, my train station is insane. It's just full of people. You're the man now, you're the man now, dog. Rickston, would you expect anything less from me, dude? Come on. second dudes I'm talking to my wife Much of a cut. 
damn. Damn, damn. You know what? Maybe we should make the tracks go up a little bit. I'm really not too keen on how close that is to the water. Especially if we start going and screwing with the dam later. I think what I'll do here is I'll set the height that I want. Water. I'm thinking, honestly, like right there. And we gotta make the tracks go up that hill. Problem is, trains don't like going up hills. They really don't like going up hills. That's no good. Uh, so, we're gonna have to figure out a way to grade this right. If we slope the tool, use the slope tool and make make it go up right here, what type of grade are we talking about? The reason why trains don't like going up hills, dudes, and I always say this whenever I build tracks, and it really figures it really figures into how I make this stuff. Um, the reason why trains don't like going up hills is because it's a metal wheel on a metal rail. You get you have horrible traction. That simultaneously is the reason why trains are so damn useful, because once the train actually does get going doesn't take my it's it, it, it it'll just keep going because um it doesn't take much to keep it going um so basically once you build up all that momentum right the train has really low what's called rolling resistance metal wheel metal track terrible traction but that will just keep the train rolling train kept a rolling all night long okay so <laughs> trains generally don't like going up hills Really, try to make it as least steep as you can. You want your tracks to look realistic? Make them flat as you possibly can. But in this particular scenario, I don't want them next to the water, especially if we're going to be screwing around with the dam later. So I'm going to put them up onto the hillside a little bit here to make sure that that doesn't happen. You have low rolling resistance on trains. Continue the incline through the curve. Yeah, that's gonna take a little bit of finessing, dude, but I think I, I should be able to hand sculpt it, Mason. Also, hi. How's your Thanksgiving, buddy? All right. So, we need to go up one level here. So that's right there. <laughs> Now we need to go up one more. Great. You're back. How was hot hot in school? Don't you say that. Oh dude, I got to spend it in Florida, dude. I spent my Thanksgiving on the freaking Space Coast for the most part. It was freaking magnificent. Purchase now or wait for sale price and some patches. Which would you recommend? Bucky, I love this game. It's the... Bucky, this is easily the best city simulator on the market right now. The only thing that even comes close is Cities 1 cities ones with mods. This thing blows everything else out of the water. It's not even close. You know, am I shilling for Colossal? No. No, no. Do I have 170 hours in the game already? Yes. Have I played the snot out of it and basically to the point that it's broken yes yeah it's friggin good dude really good game no no bias here no bias at all that's just an objective objective look it's pretty friggin good pretty friggin good dude solid answer thanks human you're welcome chat viewer <laughs> no good man yeah dude I would say I'd say give it a purchase I've gotten my fun out of it. I don't like that that looks like a cliff now. Because the other thing we gotta do, the reason why I made the tracks first is because the highway is actually gonna come up here across the tracks and I'm, I want the highway just above the train tracks a little ways. I think that would look really, really cool.
And then from here, the tracks, the train tracks can just follow the contour. But the simulations in this game are mostly fake, though. Where the hell did you hear that, Panzer? Um, I... My testing has basically shown the exact opposite of that. Um, yeah. I don't know where you heard that from, dude. That could work, Mason. There's like a huge threat on the Paradox forums with the devs even chiming in. Doesn't look fake to me. Doesn't look fake to me. Traffic out, traffic, the traffic simulation is algorithmic. They make dynamic decisions based off traffic flow patterns. How the heck, are they, what, what, what do you mean? What do you, what do you mean? I'm, I'm confused. What, what do you mean by fake the simulation? I've been sitting here messing with this with the debug tools for freaking a month now. Doesn't look, doesn't look simulated to me. Doesn't look fake to me. Looks pretty, pretty damn good actually. I'm just, just wondering like, I mean, I haven't read that thread, so maybe I'd have to go read it, but dude, I'm seeing the exact opposite of that. But hey, it's all good, man. All good. It's the import-export bugs that people have in it and ran with it. Interesting. Oh yeah, disposable. It was trash. It was SimCity Five is just, just no. I like that you put so much detail in. Thanks. They built in certain fail safes like artificially reducing the traffic, but one would have to read through the thread to understand what's going on. <sighs> See, that's that's the interesting thing to me, dude. I've not seen anything like that. When when I have traffic jams, I have freaking traffic traffic jams. Do you, does that look like artificial reduction of traffic jams to you? Dude, I've had, I had a traffic jam once that backed across backed up across the entire bridge and around the highway. That's what I mean. Like, uh, once again, I I'll go look for the thread. If you could link me up, dude, or something, I would love to read it. But honestly, I have traffic jams that are miles long. And if it's fudging that, I... Wow, that's damn impressive because... Your game will despawn stuff. Interesting. Was that a big deal for... Uh, honestly, if you played City Cities 1, was that a big deal for people? Right? Yeah, rip. Exactly. Interesting. I'm not going to convince anyone, but it's there and people have tested it tested things in it, just saying. Hmm. I mean, you seem, you seem pretty sure, so I'll, I'll go read the thread. I just... Depends on what, what, where I'm getting confused is that I'm, I'm showing you the game being played right now. And you're like, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I got, I, all right. I could, is this? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I 
Uh, Panzer, the other thing, and I think this is important to mention, mention, dude. And once again, I'm not trying to sing you out. I'm not trying to be a jerk. All right, that's that's for kitty streamers. You know what I mean, dude? I I've done some pretty empirical simulation here, like just checking the game, watching the debug stuff like that. Um, however, dude. The reason why I'm so damn skeptical of any time anybody comes in here saying, oh, that's bugged. Oh, that's bugged. It's because the vast majority of it is people just not understanding how the game works. There are bugs in the game. There was a trash, there was a trash bug. Absolutely. The mail is kind of screwed right now. Import export is a little weird. I haven't really figured out how that works yet, but it could be because there's a problem. But I've had people come in, see, come in here saying, "Oh, I saw a post on the forums. The electricity is bugged." No, no, it's not. It's it's not. You just don't understand how electricity works, and that's fine. You know, here's the thread. Yeah, dude, I'll I'll read it later. Thank you. And once again, I'm not trying to be a jerk. It's just every but, dude. It's for like the last month. Everybody comes in. Oh, that's broken. Oh, that's broken. Yeah, it's broken. Uh, wait, I don't understand how it works. No, 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 no. It's broken. It gets a little bit aggravating, dude, because the game. The game already had a bunch of negative Nancys say, oh, it's terrible, it's terrible, because they couldn't understand how to update their frigging video drivers. <laughs> like, I don't mean to raise my voice, but, oh, it got so frustrating, dude. So, and, you know, it, worse is that that obfuscates the actual statistical problems that are with the game, right? Like that, like oh, everybody's saying, oh, well, I have traffic. I have traffic in my city. What do you, wait. What do you mean I can't have a hundred thousand cars an hour float flow rate through a two-lane road? Wait a minute. No, the game's bugged. The traffic simulation sucks. Like, that's been happening so much, dude. Like, I've had to sit here and be like, no, it's not. I tested it. It's not. <laughs> so I don't mean to sing you out, dude. I'm not trying to be too much of a jerk, you know what I mean? It's just, yeah, I've had to deal with that all the time. So I'm super skeptical when people come in here and say, oh, it's bugged. Because, like, I'd say... Probably about 70% of the time, it's just somebody that doesn't understand how to play cities. Just one more lane, bro. Just one more lane. You know what I mean? But thank you for linking the thread. I'll definitely check it out, dude. Like, there was a guy that was like, oh, the, the teeth render thread, dude. I read that thread, and the guy was like, this game is terribly optimized because they have teeth being rendered. No, <laughs> no, that's not how that. Ha oh boy, yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, that's how that. That's how that. That's how that happened. Why even bother rendering that? It's most likely they're using an off-the-shelf package. For uh, NPC generator most likely or there's a reason that's within the scope of city skylines in the future that's going to require you to see NPC's teeth either way somebody tried to pawn off a one <clears throat> somebody tried to pawn off a how, what's the best way to say this um okay if you want to scientifically prove, and this is going to sound stupid, right? So just bear with me, all right? But, you know, I might be stupid. It's fine. Okay. If you want to scientifically prove that 2 plus 2 equals 4, you don't just say, hey, I have 2 and I have 2. That equals 4. <laughs> Problem solved. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You don't do that. That's not being scientific. That's not being scientific at all. That's the opposite of scientific. You have to try to disprove it. And oftentimes you have to make a data set. And a data set is multiple analysis on the same thing. So you go two plus two equals four. Okay, check it again. Two plus two still equals four. Two plus two still equals four. I think I can say pretty conclusively that two plus two equals four. If we're using whole round numbers, right? You could have a rounding error and you know, two plus two could equal five, you know what I mean, right? But general consensus using whole round numbers, two plus two equals four, right? But you have to you have to do it multiple times. You can't just do it once and be like, "Yep, that's cool." That's not being scientific at all. Now, with that being said, there were some threads that came out like maybe maybe like two days after the game came out, and some guy was trying to say that, you know, oh, this data model. I forget. I forget you know what? I don't even remember what it was about. 
The guy basically did one analysis and then wrote this huge like 5,000 word essay Reddit thread on his singular analysis on whatever he was whatever he was trying to do. And I sat there and I sat there just twitching. I'm like oh. And ever since then, dude, I've been like, no, frick that. It's probably not a glitch. You probably don't know what you're talking about. Like, and I don't like being mean like that. It's really, that's really, that's lame. Like, that's not how you get people to follow the stream, dude. But also, I don't like it when people badmouth a good game and give it bad press because they don't understand how it works. That's really, really annoying. Hey, weather guy. Did you see my updates and project to Discord? Nah, I've been on vacation, man. Yeah, guys, and once again, I don't mean to get up on a soapbox. I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm not, it's just, yeah. I'm gonna go read that thread that Panzer linked up and I'll probably learn something new. Because that's the other thing. <laughs> you know, if I could sit here and be like, I haven't had any traffic problems and go read that thread, I'm open to changing my mind about things because living in an echo chamber is how you go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how. It's a real good way to go bananas. Not the good kind of bananas either. I was crazy once. Yeah, I know, right? Then I took an arrow to the neat. Wait. All right, cool. Shut that off. Anyway, I'm gonna get back off my soapbox. I'm gonna get off my soapbox. I'm gonna keep adding one more lane, bro. I'm a full-time streamer that teaches here, Rocky. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Okay, we have the train station for our new suburban district. You want me to make a donation to the Coast Guard Youth Auxiliary? Yeah, bar. That's kind of what I'm saying. Like, I don't understand why people can sit here and be like, "Oh, the game has so many problems, dude." I'm playing it just fine. I don't understand. I, I, I don't, I don't get it. What do you mean? Maybe I'm an isolated case. Heck, maybe I broke the game. Maybe I broke it and somehow got it to work because of whatever I did. Right? Like, I'm not gonna. Not gonna say that that couldn't be a thing. Required. Am I not placing track? Nothing but a low down, dirty game breaker. Not being able to place the station thing there could be an issue. Oh dear.
we go. What is your average land value? Uh, 142,523. Damn, dude, no wonder. Wow. Okay. Okay, cool. We got the tracks. Now we need the roads. Roads. So I gotta deforestate. Why don't you build over trees? A great way to clog up your save file. If you build roads over trees, dude, it does not delete the tree. Discovery, the tree is drama. under the road. Yeah, that was the same thing for Cities 1. I knew it made a difference in Cities 1 with performance. It absolutely did. I think it still might be rendering the tree, but then again, the way the render optimization works in cities with trees is a lot different between one and two, so who knows. Hey Arctic, what's up man? Are you winning, son? Every day, Staff Sergeant. What's up, Arctic? How are you? Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but I was having a mass exodus in my city in Little Residential Man because I think my land value was 1.1 million per cell, though all the factories were in the green. Hmm. No, it doesn't delete them submitted, no. Is this drop it like it's hot? No. Drop it like it's hot. Be quiet. build out a new suburban district over here. 
Have you ever checked out the new Traffic Light Manager mod? No. I don't think you need those auxiliary power and sewer lines now. Yeah, you're probably right. But I really like wasting money. Do you have a Discord server or something? Exclamation point Discord, dude. Yeah, that should get you the URL. People mostly talk about space and stuff in there. Space flight, cities, car racing, basically anything that I'm into. <laughs> yeah, Yarg's got it. Thank you, Yoigles. Very much appreciated, my friend. <laughs> yeah, it was being the reason why I didn't do it with those pipes because it's hard to do with that damn electrical line. Depends on what you're doing, Rocky. Sorry, I didn't mean to stir up any controversy. Regardless of any issues, I think your creativity with the game is an amazing work of art. Don't worry about it, Panzer. I also like your name, Panzer Kampflagen. Yeah, used to good. Yeah, man. No, no. Dude, yeah. I wasn't trying to... Dude, the reason I got kind of a little feisty is because I've been dealing with that all for the freaking past month. It sucks. You know, it sucks because it's a good game and you can do cool stuff with it. But yeah, if there's glitches, there's glitches. And accountability needs to be a thing, dude, right? So yeah, man, all good. Nope, no hard feelings, man. No, we're good, dude. I appreciate, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Can you make underground ship connections? Underground ship connections. I don't know. Thanks, Ving. Boat tunnel? <laughs> Glitch bug free games only exist when you play board games. Glory, I'm stealing that, dude. I'm stealing that one, dude. That's good. I like that. G14 classified. That's good. I gotta focus on this edge right here. We gotta we gotta smooth this out. Let's go to a small brush with high strength. That should should help us make it look like we did a fill right here up and up to the uh, terrain. So with train tracks, right? There's cut, there's cuts, and then there's fills. Who's fill? Don't know. And Panzer, for what it's worth, I am going to read that thread. Absolutely. Duh. The other part of being scientific? Well, exhaust all sources. 
right? I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna read the hell out of that thread, dude, because now I'm curious. Now you pick, you have my curiosity, but now you have my attention. You know. We'll see. We'll see if it's screwed up. Let's see if we can learn something. I'll see if I can correlate that with my findings, because that's what being scientific is. This is all about not being a jerk, which sometimes I'll admit, dude, I'm kind of good at that. I'm trying, I'm trying to, trying to not be, but. It, problem is I'm from the Northeast, man. We're all kind of jerks. It's just how we roll. Are there fairies in the game? Yeah, but they're big, dude. They're big. So when would I use a train? Sub subways are subways are good for shorter distances, dude. Shorter distances. Trains are good for longer distances. If you have a subway that goes over a long distance, it's got, the train would be preferential because the subway ideally has more stops. Subways are good for short distances. It's called rapid transit. I don't know if there's a word in it for German. I think it's just metro. Like, met, that's Spanish. Metro. Wicked Tony, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just jerks by, uh, by kind of default, dude. There's not much I can do about it. Discovery, go at throttle up. U-Bahn? Yeah, guy. Yeah, for real, dude. South Shore reporting in here. For real. You know, this time this time of year down here, you don't have to worry about all those freaking people coming down, uh, going and checking at the Cape. So, uh, it's nice and quiet. And believe it or not, two of the gas prices down here are freaking sweet, dude. Filled up for like 279 the other day. Can you believe that crap? 279. It's 340 in the city. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. That's actually true. <laughs> it's actually true. Yeah, what up, kid? Yeah, I'm with my people. <laughs> yeah, down on the Cape, dude, there's no tourism here in the winter. No tourism down here in the winter. The gas prices went. <laughs> they went to. They went to the ground, dude. I filled up for under three bucks a gallon, baby. Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah, Arctic down on the Cape. No joke. It. This was. A, this was before I went to Florida, so the price has actually gone up a little bit. But, dude, I don't know. What did I see at the pumps? Three bucks. Three oh five. Three ten. Three fifteen at the expensive places. Yeah, dude. You want, you want to fill up with gas? Come down the Cape. Actually, please don't, because then you clog up Route 3, and that's annoying. Don't do that. Get out of here. We'll just keep the gas prices for ourselves. Yeah, MK. Mm -hmm. And no Bucky's. Oh. XJ470, bro. Still around 360 in Framingham, McDougal? See, that's where I grew up, man. I grew up uh, in Newton. And I worked in Framingham. You know the Best Buy and Shoppers World? Yeah, I worked there. No joke. <laughs> I worked in the warehouse. You probably didn't see me if you went in there. 689 in San Diego? Bruh! California! We need a Bucky's in the north. We do need a Bucky's. You ain't kidding, man. Did you hear their scrap? SpaceX is scrapping SN15. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks. Oh well. Onward and upward, dude. Oh snap, I have pals that graduated Newton 2002. Newton North or South, McDougal? <laughs> That's cool, man. Hey, your micro center having self has no room to complain. Oh yeah, you reminded me. I actually gotta go up there, dude. I gotta see how much a 13.9 is, dude. And a new motherboard. See if I can get some micro center deals. I was gone for Black Friday. There we go. That looks like a nice cut. Perfect. 306 per liter? Inappropriate? 306 a liter? What are you, nuts? 
my god. North. All right, dude. Might be rolling in the same circles, man. That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. All right. Anyway. I don't know why it won't let me connect those train tracks in, dude. Every time I try to connect it in, it says track required. Yeah, I, I know. Is this not track or... dude we're about we're at about one euro per liter so nine 99 99 99 cents a liter is where I where I'm at give or take it's it might actually be a little bit lower than that you're doing a single into a double yeah Natch I tried it with doubles dude we'll, we'll see let's let's try it I tried it already but I don't yeah see track required it's 160 to 170 bruh Bruh, you're you're paying. Yeah, that's like six bucks a gallon, Alex. There would be, people would there would be problems over here. You ever seen Mad Max? If if gas was that high, like for everyone across the board, like Californians, they would kind of have to deal with that. But yeah, that's right, Rocky. Yeah, mm -hmm. we have all the oil. We have all the oil. Uh oh, oh, wunderbar. Wrong track type? I don't know. You think subway track will work? No, I don't think it's the wrong track type, dude. I think that station is bugged. That's weird. So what I'll do? Oh. Discovery, go at throttle up. It won't even let me upgrade it. Yeah, that's I'm. Something's very weird about that station. It's clearly bugged. Like something is wrong with it. But I'm not sure if that's all my train stations or just this one. This is what I mean about two plus two equals four. Two plus two equals four. Two plus two equals four. We gotta be careful. I think relocating it might be the thing, but here, let me just check that this station that I placed down over here isn't screwing me up. Yo, Hellfish, 52 month pickup. Nope, we could still mess with that station just fine. So my real question is, what did we do to this thing to make it do that? GPU bottleneck, Arctic, what are you talking about? It's nice to know people. <laughs> what are you talking about? You think I'm rolling that 1070? Nah, son. Nah, son. Your boy got an upgrade. Try removing the road near it. Okay. Let's see what happens. Nope, still giving me a track required. I meant the 90 degree road near the track. Oh. Nope. Yeah, I think it might be the route, dude. I'm going to guess that that probably has something to do with it, dudes. Look at how the route's set up there. Uh, 
Alright. Goodbye. Oh, uh, we should probably pause. <laughs> it did not like that. All right, so I replaced the station. We got to redo some of the Stugatz line there, but yeah, something was weird with the route. I think that had to do with the route tool. I'm pretty dang sure, but I deleting it kind of made it so I couldn't really prove it, but whatever. It's all good. Oh, the train went stealth. It's all right. Yeah, it'll go out there and then the trains can reverse direction in cities, dude, which is pretty cool. Actually, you know what? I'm going to delete this, uh, this route here. The reason why is that uh, we gotta add another train depot, but I'll make I'll make it so a train line that is just dedicated to here. Are your different lines different colors? On my commuter rail, no, they are not. They are all the same. In the meantime, though, before we go and make that, I'll set this here. Oh, yeah. There was some... It was definitely route logic that was doing that. That's good for now. Save check. Discovery, go at throttle up. Yeah, I named everything, dude. Discovery, go at throttle up. Hey, Freddy, 59, and Scott with a 41. How's the game? Amazing. Yeah, it's fun, dude. You can change the colors in there, too. I know. The commuter rail is all the same color. It's my subways that are different lines.
Ah, you see. Do you see? This is me. This is a slideshow of me at the Grand Canyon. Do you see? Ah, God, no! It's so boring! Do you see? Hey, j what's up, dude? Do you see? Do you see? Sorry. Built this through here like this. South Park, <laughs> do you see? Do you see? Ah, oh, God, no! It's so boring! See, the killer all left left hands, but these are clearly right hands. Yeah, couldn't have been this guy. Couldn't have been this guy, Sarge. I don't think so at all. Looks like I gotta mess with the terrain a little bit more. There we go. Hey, Nakas, what's up, dude? Giga Texas playing... Oh. That's crazy, man. Later, nerds. Wait, what's up, nerds? What's up, Hokey? How's your Thanksgiving, buddy? Mine is pretty sweet. I got to spend it next to rockets. Bree's, Bree's parents wanted to go to Kennedy Space Center, so... <laughs> that's what I... That's what I got to do for... My Thanksgiving, it was uh, pretty poggers. P -p -p poggers. Why does he have my name in real life? That's a train line. Look at that. That's train tastic. Sinus infection, other than that, okay? Oh boy. Oh boy. I see your city's still going strong. Oh yeah, dog. Just one more, nah, cause I just gotta place one more lane, bro, please. Just one more lane, bro. Bro, please, come on. Just one more lane. I'm working on my overall huge highway fix. Nah, cause you remember last week when we were talking about putting the extension down here? And uh, I'm pretty sure that was you and I talking about making the highway split here. I think that was you. It may have been somebody else named Nakas, dude. 
<laughs> I'm not, not going to lie to you, but uh, yeah, that's what I'm trying to, I'm trying to work on that project. So I decided that that highway that's going to go across here to supplement that other bridge, right? Is not just going to be, it's not just going to end here. Discovery. I'm going to make that highway turn, cross over this highway. And yes, I intersection. No, I have not figured out how. And then that highway is going to run right here, and it's going to run with these train tracks, basically right here. It's going to run along the coast with the tracks, and we're going to put, we're going to put a highway in here, and then I'm going to put an interchange for the highway, low capacity interchange here, uh, right in front of the train station. Or I don't know, I don't know how else I'll do it. I don't know, but anyway, I'll probably make the highway separate from the train tracks here. Um, I don't know where I'd make it go. Actually, yeah, I'd probably stay with it. We'll make it look like sawmill, right? This thing will look like, uh, it'll end up looking like beacon or ossining up in here. It'll look, I mean, that's gonna look cool though. Is there Axe? 32 months, Ginny with the 28. Did they fix an optimization? Yeah, this game seems fine to me. Woke up this morning. Got myself a gun. Yeah. Got a blue moon. Got a blue moon in your eye. Woke up this morning. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much what we're gonna try and figure out here. I gotta build the new highway extension. It's gonna look good. <clears throat> you need to get me to sing more? Sing? Yes? <laughs> I was thinking Peter Frampton. Do you feel like I do? You want in a million? You got the shotgun shine. Shame about it. Born under a bad sign with a blue moon in your eyes. Sing it now. <laughs> Woke up this morning. Got yourself a gun. Oh, nah, because in the rest of you guys, I was, uh, I was in Florida for Thanksgiving, right? And we went to Disney World and we came up with this pretty funny thing. It's called Tony Soprano and his family goes to Disney World. Yeah, let me, uh, let me, let me, let me. Let me show you. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Every time I go down to Disney World, I go down there. The freaking mouse, he screws me every time. He screws me. He doesn't even take me out to dinner. He screws me every time. My kid wants the Lego. My daughter wants the princess outfit. He, he screws me. The freaking mouse is there to screw us. He screws us. It's a big freaking racket. <clears throat> I gotta go down there. I gotta spend tons of freaking money. I could have gotten this at home. Ridiculous. Frick the freaking mouse. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's pretty. It's pretty. That freaking mouse. He takes me for a freaking ride every freaking time I go down there. <laughs> it's so stupid. Just to, hey, Tone, that place is supposed to be the happiest place on earth. Hey, Tone, I don't know. I went to Disney World with my ma once. We had such a, we had a great time. I think, the, uh, you know, Tone, hey, Tone, I think the mouse is a good guy. Yeah, hey, hey, Tone, you, you know, you're supposed to be happy there. Yeah. You're supposed to be pretty happy when you're down there. It's kind of the name of the place. The happiest place on earth. How can I be happy when I'm getting screwed here?
Peter, my nephew Christopher. He wants to ride a small world. I, I hate the freaking small world. He wants to sit there and ride the small world. Oh, hey, hey, the small world's a freaking great ride. No, oh, you want to sit here and ride the small world. I hate the small world. There's not a small world after all. This is ridiculous. Freaking nephew, he wants to sit there. He wants to ride the freaking ride. It's not a small world. Space Mountain is an infinitely better ride. It's an infinitely better one. Man, if someone just clicked on this stream, they're going to be real confused. But that's kind of a hallmark here. It's kind of a hallmark of what we do, huh? <laughs> you need a TV show. I got a Twitch stream. That's pretty good. Hello, new user. Be not afraid. Yeah, we, we know you're confused, Jack. It's fine. Shoelaces on the bathroom floor. You gotta keep them guessing. Yeah, I like to keep I like to keep chat on their toes. All right, let's uh, plan out where we want this highway to be. Freaking mouse, he screws me every time. Every time I go down there. I could've, you know, my the kid wants a freaking hat. I could've gotten a freaking hat at home for half the freaking price. It could've fallen off a truck. set this up. That's much too high. Wow, no, that's that's terrible. That does not need to be that high up off the ground. tell you the clear inside over the other road. Yeah, Yarg, we should be able to get it. It'll, so the game starts doing some deformation stuff here when, when you get to that point, so watch. 
So see how it, it's trying to bow the road over for clearance? See how it makes the road kind of crooked? Pretty awesome functionality, if you ask me. I think that's really neat. Let me try it again. Uh, Yarg, I find flattening the terrain first. So even for an elevated road, grade, grade underneath, which honestly, that was a thing in Cities 1 as well. If you grade underneath the highway with the elevated road, it gets you a nice flush highway. So see, that's the height that I'm really looking for. But I only really got to see it right when you grade it, when I graded the road correctly. Now the rest of this is not, this isn't gonna be too difficult here. Now what I need to do is basically just find the road deck here. Like where do we want this road to go? First thing I'm gonna do is set my ground step to zero and then kind of run it over here. And I can figure out what terrain step we're at here if the grade equals zero. All right, so we're up there. Get this height right here and then do this. See if we take that road and do this. Look, there we go. Ground height, 0.2% grade. Nice smooth road, baby. And if we blend it, it looks like it's been there forever. Looks like it's been there for a long time. Highways do this. They do stuff like this, raise the terrain all the time. It's to keep sound sound levels down. Highways usually are raised or lowered. It doesn't matter if it's here, Europe, wherever. Granted, that might be actually a little too high. We're like 20 meters off the deck right there. And then again, yeah, it's all right. It also helps retain heat into the roads during winter. Nodders. The auto wash, yeah, it's just just the auto wash. Ah, uh, da da da, wa 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 wash. I 
don't understand why people don't like The Fifth Element. I don't know, man. People like and dislike movies. You know, movies and you know, cinema is an art form, so you know it's subjective. I I don't understand it, but hey, everybody has their tastes. Nice. Sad for Bruce Willis. Yep. You are fired. Oh, I'm sorry. But at least I want lunch. Speaking of Christmas movies. It's after Thanksgiving. I'm allowed to wear Christmas shirts, okay? It's just chroming out because it's green. Julia, thank you for the bits. All right, now we gotta get in here with my smoother. Smooth up in ya. Hey, Joe, what's going on? Build some curvy roads for the sports car drivers. What about, what about this? Is that curvy enough? Bro, just one more lane, bro. Please, please, bro. Just one more lane, bro. Bro, please. If we add one more lane, it'll fix the traffic problems, bro. I swear, bro. Just one more lane, please. Please, just one more lane, bro. Please, please. You don't understand, bro. Come on, it'll fix everything. Just one more lane, bro. Please. But at least traffic ain't backing up onto the... That's not funny. That's not funny. That's not funny. Shut up. That's not funny at all.
That's merges. That has merges in the right spots, I'm pretty sure. He broke the game. Influx over there, that's pretty good. Three lanes, three lanes converting to two lines. I know. I don't have the space to put any more lanes, Bragg. <laughs> I know, dude. I don't have the space. And that might just be influx traffic, so we'll just leave it and just keep going. How was your trip? Oh, it was great, Newmark. Yeah, it's fantastic, dude. How was your Thanksgiving? If if that's what you do, if that's your thing. Why you got all your farms all in one place? Is there enough for it? Well, some of those farms don't need fertile land, Andy. Some of them do, some of them don't. Those ones need fertile land. So since I was building those two there, I built these other ones. These are livestock farms. Livestock doesn't need fertile land. Yeah, believe it or not, you can do whatever. You can do whatever with it. You can place it wherever you want, which is super useful. It's like a rock mine. Rock mines can go really wherever you want. And now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, we have a pretty damn good surplus there. I found sometimes the lane changing behavior often gets borked by unintentional short lengths of road. It, it's how you it's how the road gets placed together, dude. If the animals poop enough, the land will be fertile eventually. Wouldn't that be one hell of a game mechanic? Piago, that'd be actually pretty sweet, dude. This is Barrier Island. Did adding one more lane actually fix that? I'm gonna be a little upset if that's actually the case here. I smell burnt toast. Yes, actually, how'd you know? Well, your toast might be... Ah. Buttered toast. Butter toast, Eddie! Oh, game? Game? Yeah. Uh, 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 ah! <laughs> and that's 
how baby cars are made for machines. Just one more lane, bro. Please, bro. I swear, bro. One more lane, dog. It's it's gonna be fine. Just one more lane, bro. Please. Uh, Bucky, they're getting a little confused because I've upgraded the roads three or four times. The AI is like, it. I don't know. I don't know what you want. Or not the AI. The traffic simulation is going. Eh. <laughs> All Did you know that you can speed up the sim more than three in photo mode? I did know that. Did you know you could spit it up to eight and force 8x symmetry? Or eight, not 8x sim, 8x simulation? And the game really gets upset when you do that. Dude, it's so upset. <laughs> the CPU is gonna explode. EJ, leave the game running all night. What happened? It's just a game. Is there a way to reset all the traffic in the city? Sure. It's in the debug tools. Right there. Click that button. Last time I clicked that button, the game did not like me. Oh, dude, it's trying. It's trying so hard, but it stops. The, everything stops for a second, and then it keeps going, and then it stops, and then it keeps going. I'm, I'm just gonna... The temp is... 70 and 70. Have you played Airport CEO? Negative. Negative. Negative, Ghost Rider. The pattern is full. No. No, Pigeon. So 500k pop when? I'm working on it, Yargles. Jeez. Don't get your Yargles in a bunch. Faster! Ah. Okay.
Unlimited terraforming, man. I don't agree with it. But I'm gonna abuse the snot out of it because I can. Commence the terraformation! Look, that, what I probably just, what I did there just probably cost, would have cost probably about a million bucks worth of, worth of moving dirt in real life, easily. And it's probably two million now that I'm working with this underwater and stuff. I don't like the idea that they have free terraforming in this game, but that's probably my only gripe with cities. mod that out when you can if stank yeah if if it'll let me I'll do it sure Imagine living here and having that for your freaking view. Yeah, that'd be pretty sweet. This is uh, New York disposable. It's the Hudson River. Well, actually, that's New Jersey, technically. I'm trying to get some reference for a highway running next to the cliffside, but that's not exactly what I want. Um, we need to go back over to East Rutherford. Yeah, East Rutherford, New Jersey. Yeah, see, they filled in the area around the ramps easily. We love Fort Lee. Yeah, there you go. Fort Lee is a trip, Patrick. I'm, I, you know, I told people a couple times I've driven through there. Holy crap! It's a freaking unit of an intersection. Do you even call it an intersection? Like, Discovery. Go at throttle up. Yo, Joe, what's up, man? Yeah, we're at 400k. Still running an 8x sim. Oh, balls. I was. CPU temps are okay. Have you ever carpooled into the city of Fort Lee? Fun times. No. I've driven single person through with a car with a manual transmission though. That was fun. Didn't get lost. Cause you're going so slow it's easy to read the signs. It's true. this road to 
to go is something like this. No parallel. No, no, away. So we need to keep going with this one right here. I'm extending, th basically this is where my frontage road design is pretty much for the most part ending. So I'm going to have to widen this out a little bit as well. No, no, no. Sometimes, like I said, it pays to make the road backwards. You can get a better angle at whatever you're trying to do. This is where I want the frontage roads to end. We don't really need them over here. Come on, game. Bro, just one more lane, bro. Please, please, bro, just one more lane. It'll fix it, bro, I swear, bro. I'm not exactly sure why this ended up being five lanes over here. We could probably switch this to four and call it a day. Like, I don't know why this one ended up as three. There we go. That'll work. And now, the reason why I got this all straightened out is because I need to build an intersection off of it. Because... <laughs> Bro, Alvin, I just needed one more lane. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? Welcome back. Thanks. Thanks, man. Hey, thanks. I appreciate you. you you're good. You was good people. You was good people. Bro, just one more lane. Hey, Maboko, I haven't watched in a while. Is there a scheduled space news segment, or is it all cities nowadays? I've been playing a lot of cities, dude, but Mipoko, I've been kind of interspersing space stuff with cities. You know, I want the cities crowd to learn about space, and I want the space crowd to learn about cities, you know? So I'm kind of sprinkling it in. If you ask me a question about Starship or anything that has to do with space, I'll answer. It doesn't matter what we're doing. 
If you want to be a dick about it, you could look at what Hellfish said. Cities in space, that's the dream, Samurai. That's the dream, my brother. That's the only way we could push you to recovery. Someone's gotta want to recover. If you wanna if you wanna help them. They, they gotta want to first, Hellfish. You uh picking up what I'm laying down? Vincent Pesci or Pacino. Pacino. Why are we bottlenecking? We should not be bottlenecking. Nice to hear that. I enjoy cities as well. I was just wondering in general. Yeah! I kind of spent the first, like, hour and a half today, Mpoko, talking about Starship and stuff. Yeah. Now I hear you, man. I don't think this road needs to be this big anymore. It, it needed to be big at, at a, a different point in time, but not, not so much now. There, that's fine. It's on the low voltage lines. Actually, maybe I don't want that exactly right there. Where else can I put it? I'm saving that for something. right at a substation. I think it was just because I temporarily undid the electricity, guys. I don't see any substation problems, do you? This looks clean to me. Why don't I get low density residential demand at all? Uh, user right, I'm not sure. I have a I have trouble getting rid of it. Check if the land value is too high.
35 poppers. Sweet. I need to go into Google Earth here to get a little bit more reference. Jeez. That's insane, man. thought of this. I'm not even mad. That's amazing. You ate the whole wheel of cheese? How'd you do that? Not even mad. It's amazing. See, this is something like what I need here. Oh. Trumpet over here. <laughs> oh, balls. Alright, let me just check on the rest of the frontage. How, how's that all working? They're using the frontage correctly, man. I'm pretty, pretty impressed with that. Look, at least, at least the highway isn't clogged. That's what the frontage road is there for. It's supposed to do that. This looks like Google Maps. Katie, are you talking about that or, or this? I'm using Google Earth as reference. I'm using it for reference, to be honest. Like, full disclosure. I'm not trying to clickbait anybody with that. Do it. Yeah, <laughs> that other one was Google Earth. I use it to, to get inspiration. Um, I've just kind of searched around New York and found various intersections that I thought looked cool and then just said, you know what? I'm appropriating this. It's mine now. Sorry, first time here. Hey, all good. No need to apologize. Yeah, this is this is me. That's that's me. I try to build with a really realistic motif. I build in styles. This one is supposed to be like New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, somewhere around there. Like there's the basically the New York metropolitan area. It's supposed to look like that. I think I did okay, you know? Good artists copy. Great artists steal. Yeah. It's hard to tell whether guy, which is why I'm very hesitant about modifying anything at this point. You're new to City Skylines too in general. You love it. It's a really awesome game, Katie. I enjoy it. I really enjoy it. I uh I kinda have a little bit of a problem. I love the scale that you can build in this game. You can actually build a freaking huge city. Now, don't get me wrong, you could do that in City Skylines 1, but this, for whatever reason, this feels m like more crazy than CS1. It feels more ridiculous. Like, the traffic is much, much more complicated, and it's really easy to jam up your entire city. But that's, you know, that's why it's good.
it's been made. All right, here. There we go. That should whip this into shape or break my computer. Boone, if it my, if my computer breaks, man, I'm going to be a little upset with you. It's going to be your fault. No, there's not a soft cap, Dark Matter. I have a really big problem. We have a nasty labor shortage. But the labor shortage isn't for the type of zoning that I have inside, inside of the city. Our labor shortage is for, for, well, stupid people, to be very clear. Let's just say uneducated. So what I switched to doing here from working on the bro, one more lane, bro. Please, please, bro, just one more lane. What I switched to is working on over here. I'm working on expanding my residential area out here. And actually, you reminded me, I should. In true New York borough fashion, we will call this district Hanendok. Like Hoboken, or Weehawken, or Harlem. We will call it Hanendok. Actually, you know what? That's a good name, but. Kalko and Basterstad. You should force the uneducated people to live next to a landfill and incinerators. Nah, Hain and Dock is fine. If you're Dutch, then you get it. Am I? No. Nope. Battle of the Best Basterstads. There's two kinds of things I can't stand in this world. People who are intolerant of other people's cultures and the Dutch. Now I need some reference for a residential area. We can start zoning. Let's get a little bit further out of the city. I used Englewood before. Mawa. The mm. city's gonna understand this. Your Austin Powers file. Your Austin Powers file shall need improvement. Finally, I found an impersonation you can't mimic 1000%. Ah, yes, you're very toit. Toit. Like it. Really, Jersey? Really? There is a new city, New Jersey. shall name this land land oh hold on this is called congers that's almost like coggers chat it's almost like coggers guess what we're using congers for reference and you know what you know what <laughs> calling it coggers i don't care 
All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the roads. What type of reference we need here? Okay, so the grids mimic the train tracks for the most part. Okay, cool. You shouldn't laugh. You wouldn't believe how many cities here are named, are called Neustadt. Neustadt, which is just, sit. yeah, okay, that's fair. Discovery, go at throttle up. Hey, Phil, 75 months. Hey, Phil, 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 Phil. <laughs> Dude, I was outside of this building last Tuesday, damn it! <sighs> oh, little did I know, that's what was inside. Oh, that's... That is... That is beautiful. It's, look at this. Look at this thing. This thing is beautiful. Also, dude, check out the, uh, check out the tank pickup. And then tell me that this thing is an SLS inspired. Dude, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, this is... That's... That has SLS written all over it. It's... It's an ISO grid... ISO grid? Um, friction stir welded a aluminum lithium, yeah. Is that the connector to the payload? Hero, that's the, um... That's the pickup. It's the pickup for the rocket engine. See these pipes? Those are the fuel and oxidizer lines. They're, the engine section is gonna basically be like oh, the bottom of it, it's gonna be over here somewhere. It's gonna be over there. And there's gonna be seven gigantic freaking motors. That's the, that's the uh, I don't know, fuel delivery manifold, I guess. Dude, this is a seven meter, seven meter thing. The jigs are all made by the same company, dudes. I'm telling you. Jeff Bezos just poached a bunch of NASA engineers. I mean, don't get me wrong, Elon did the same thing too, but I, I swear, these this this thing is, it looks exactly like SLS, only a seven meter variant. If we were gonna look at a core stage next to this thing, Uncle Lux, it'd probably, the core stage would probably be from like here to like here. Here, uh, let me show you. Look. Uh, yeah, see? No. No, no. That's not the right version. Yeah, actually, that's about right. Give or take. It's close. That would probably be better. Dude, it's... Yeah, see? It's almost as big as a core stage. But we don't... There's no engine section, and then there's no inner stage here. So the core stage is going to go from where the E is in blue all the way to the bottom. What you guys are looking at in that picture is just the tankage. So you're going to have a gigantic inner stage up here, and then you're going to have an engine section that goes to here. It's almost as big as freaking as an SLS core stage. They've been doing so much rocket testing at the base in Huntsville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're on 4670s, Avena. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They got test in 4670 for, for B4 testing, and that just makes me happy. Makes me really happy seeing 4670 light up again. For the uninitiated, let me show you. You guys want to, you know, we've been doing infrastructure. You want to see some cool infrastructure? Look at this. So 4670 is a monolithic test stand left over from the Apollo program. It's a gigantic engine test stand. What it originally was designed to do is that it was the first spot where a Saturn V first stage was static fired. You could still see the hole where the Saturn V stage was supposed to go. See it? It was mounted in the cell and then the five engines shot out here. Now, why does the flame bucket look like a waterfall and go into a retention pond? Because you have to shoot water at the thing or else it'll break the whole test stand. When I say this thing is monolithic, I mean it's monolithic. Look at the van right there. See the truck? Look at the scale we're talking about here. Blue Origin used this test stand. It's test cell 4670. And they refitted it for their uh, B4 engines, which are going on New Glenn. And they just went to town with this thing. Kind of dark matter. Elon didn't use Stennis or Huntsville. Where SpaceX test is in McGregor, 
McGregor, Texas. Elon actually bought up the bankrupt remains of another private space company. No, that's McGregor, Houston. No. Is it McGregor? Yeah, it's McGregor. Okay. Um, he bought up the remains of another of a bankrupt space flight company called Beale Aerospace. They these are SpaceX test stands here, and SpaceX's test stands are actually pretty crazy. There's a lot of them. That's your uh, Falcon 9 first stage test stand right there. That's a Raptor test stand right there. NASA did not use test stand 4670 for SLS. NASA used the V2 test stand at Stennis Space Center in Mississippi. Stennis is where all the heavy duty testing is. Now, test stand 4670 looks very, very, very similar to the A2 and the A3 test stands at, uh, at Stennis because it's basically the same. It's basically the same design. Um, Actually, yeah, they're close. It's It was made by the same contractor, so they look very similar. So there's the A2, the A1 and the A2 test stand right there. Those are for testing, those were for testing Saturn V third stages and Saturn V second stages. The one that NASA used for SLS testing is the B2 test stand over here. The B2 test stand is a part, part of the B-series test stand, which is the B1 and the B2 stand. And that's, that's where they static fired operational Saturn V's first stages. They, 4670 at Huntsville was just a test, but <clears throat> it was a test. But later down the road, when they finished building the Michoud assembly facility, which is down here in Louisiana, just down the road right here, you know, it started cranking out those things right there. See that thing? They started cranking these things out. And they needed more of a dedicated test cell that could be accessed via water, right? To move that freaking thing around. Because you ain't moving that around on a road. No way. It'll sink. It'll sink right into the ground. There's no way. You need a heavy road to move that, right? You need a big freaking road. Not to mention power lines, telephone poles, bridges. So they built the first Saturn V stage in, in Huntsville, Alabama in pieces. SA-500F, which is actually still around. That's the first Saturn V first stage at Kennedy Space Center visitors, believe it or not. That was the first Saturn V stage ever. They built it in pieces in Huntsville and then took it apart and used it for testing elsewhere. The first operational stuff came out of Michoud here. They needed to be able to access it via water. They couldn't ship it up to Huntsville via the, via the water. I mean, you could, but Stennis is a lot closer. So look, they NASA dug out this waterway right here and they put locks in and they they made all the test stands accessible via barge. So you could just shift the stage upstream, put it on the test stand, make sure it was good to go, then send it off to Kennedy. Wide load side won't cut it. Not for a 33 foot wide first stage. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, rocket infrastructure, man. It's my favorite, my, fi my favorite. The Apollo program was awesome. Very cool. Yep. And yeah, yeah, Green, even if you go and look, so they shipped, they would build the first first stages and second stages for the Saturn V in, at Michoud, test them at Stennis, and then ship them over here. If you look at Port Canaveral, the Army Corps of Engineers made Port Canaveral and they put two locks in right here. I was standing next to these things the other day. Those locks are for accepting rocket stages. If you notice, they're the size they're the perfect size for a barge that's carrying a 33 foot stage. They're 90 feet across. You have a 33 foot wide stage on a 60 foot wide barge and a 90 foot wide lock. Yeah, that's not that's all done on purpose. There was metrics involved here. Saturn V first stage is 10 meters wide. The barge is 20 meters wide. The locks are 30 meters wide. Cool, huh? And then you could see all the canals that they dredge to move the Saturn V stages and space shuttle external tanks later, right inland, right to the turning basin. Remember how I said you needed a heavy road? You needed a really strong road to be able to move these stages around? Solid concrete. That road right there, the turning road, and the road that leads right into the assembly building 
All solid concrete. That's concrete, boy! That's a lot of dredging. The Apollo program was no joke. It was no joke, dude. Oh, yeah, Dark Matter, yeah. Challenger sucked. That wasn't fun at all. I wasn't here for that, but I did see Challenger the other day. At least what's left of it. It's at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, dude. Piss me off. Piss me. Yeah, pieces of it. They have pieces of it on display. Yeah, parts that they got back. along with Columbia. I always go in there. Every time I go... Every time I go to KSC, I always go in there. I always look at Atlantis, and then I go look at Challenger in Columbia. It makes me angry every single time. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I just take it too seriously, but I, I'm really, really passionate about spaceflight for the newer viewers. That's really, really close to my heart. Uh, a lot. Yeah. I always make, I always force myself to go in there even though I know I'm gonna get upset. Columbia was foam that came off the external tank, yeah. The external tank had foam delamination on it because, uh, the, they kept filling and draining the external tank over and over and over again, and the external tank isn't designed to be reused. Turns out when you take something that's not designed to be reused and reuse it a bunch of times because the shuttle launch scrubbed so many times, it cracks some of the foam. Because when you fill it up, you're pressurizing the tank. The tank expands and contracts and expands and contracts and expands and contracts. These tanks are in, are, are engineered so to such fine tolerances that they actually kind of inflate like a balloon almost. And we're talking like an aluminum tank. It's an aluminum lithium alloy, right? When you pressurize that at extremely low temperature, it actually expands and then contracts. Yeah. Uh, all that contraction and expansion and contraction and expansion because they filled the external tank up a bunch of times actually caused the foam to crack. Yeah. It happened on SLS's core on the Artemis 1 flight. But they knew about it, obviously, and it's not going to hit the space shuttle that because there's no space shuttle on the side of an SLS. More lanes, please. Gotcha. Yeah. I love cities and I love rocket knowledge, man. That's my thing. 59 for me and what's up, dude? Yeah, I'm a rocket nutcase, dudes. My main game that I play is Kerbal, but we've been on a nasty cities kick lately. So, yeah. That's my uh that's my thing, dudes. When is the first cargo Mars mission? It's 2 years late. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, we landed Perseverance in 2021. That didn't suck. That was a good day. It's slowly gaining traction. We're nowhere near the Apollo time. Uh, I don't know, man. No guarantees, Ian. Yeah, Congers. This is what we're doing. Traffic fixable in this game? I'm working on it, dude. You know how I'm working on it? By placing more lanes, bro. Please, bro. Just place one more lane, bro. One more lane, bro. It'll fix it, bro. I swear. Bro, please, please. Just one more lane, bro. Aren't the most of the remains of Challenger and Columbia stored in the VAB? Yes. I don't like talking about this green. 
it's, it's gonna piss me off. Oh, that's cool, man. Look at that traffic jam. That's that's impressive, dude. Bro, bro, please, bro. Just one, just one more lane, bro. Please, please, bro. Bro, just one more lane, bro. Come on. Hey, you can't park there. It's a red zone. What's wrong? Oh. All right. Let's uh, just yeah. You saw nothing. I'm trying to build out this residential district as best as I can here. I'm using Congers, New York as a uh, reference. And then I called just I just called this district Coggers. Because it's pretty Coggers, bro. Coggers. Hey, explosism. What's the sub, dude? Space News, what's up? Astra secures 2.7 million in additional funding. Dude, I read about that. Good for them, man. I'm super happy for them. That's freaking awesome. And everybody's like, well, Astra's over. Astra's on. Nah, son. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. We good. We are Gucci banana pants, okay?
Yeah, for those of you that are like, did he just say Gucci banana pants? Is this guy crazy? Yeah, yeah I am. Deal with it. All right. Say hello to your mother for me, okay? So is each area based off of a different IRL neighborhood? Yeah, I just took parts of the tri-state area that I liked, Yarg, and just kind of rolled with it. Yeah, there are, there are areas that are very much inspired by different places, right? Like the... Over here, if you look at Moranis, Moranis is... The name comes from Paramus, New Jersey. I just... Moranis because Rick Moranis. I don't know. I couldn't think of a name. Um, that's supposed to look like... Uh, go down south a little bit. Inglewood. Paramus is supposed to look like Inglewood. I made it look like that on purpose. See what I mean? It's kind of grids, but it's kind of not. But it kind of is, but it's kind of not. The more honest, yep. Yeah. Lawn guy land. I'm not sure I'll have room for a Long Island neighborhood. The area that I'm working on right now, I'm, yeah, Congers. I I picked Congers because co the Coggers. It's very close to Coggers. What do you do with air pollution, Nina? I put. I have a big air pollution problem right now in my city. I eventually have to move this industrial area away. But I tend to put industrial areas and things that pollute. I put them on the edge of the map so they blow off and basically become somebody else's problem. Is that messed up? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Varex. <laughs> good, good to have you back, you jamoke. I plan on disappointing you in new and exciting ways from now on. <laughs> have a good night, brother. I'll see you. <laughs> Yeah, we're at the kind of grids phase, but kind of not. Not really any particular rhyme or reason, because it grows organically. It grows organically, yeah, yeah, yeah. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. The Fire and Rescue Service reports that fires are currently spreading in the nearby forest. The billowing clouds of smoke pose a serious health risk to anyone nearby. At this time, all citizens in the affected area are instructed to immediately move to a safe distance until the situation is under control. How about no?
yeah, it's kind of really no rhyme or reason to this. I'm just, it's kind of like, they were like, there was an attempt to make grids here, but then they were like, nah. But you can also see where new developments were added after the fact. These are these houses are newer than these houses. You can just tell by the road design. For instance, this one has a cul-de-sac that was definitely, definitely built into it from the start. It wasn't retroactively added like this one right here. Actually, that could be a newer development too. Older, older street designs tend to not have cul-de-sacs. Does anybody know why? You just get dead end roads. See what I mean? You get dead end roads. The reason why modern housing developments, it doesn't matter if it's US, North American, so Canadian, American, Mexican, European, it does not matter. Anytime you have low density housing like this, right? Cul-de-sacs are implemented into the design. It's so a fire truck can get down the road. Think about it. That doesn't make a lot of sense, right? Like, what do you mean so the fire truck can get down the road? Okay, so the fire truck goes down here and it fights a fire at that house, you know, God forbid, right? Now, how does the fire truck get out? How does the mail truck get out? Septic, fuel oil, how do those trucks move? Moving vans? Cul-de-sacs are engineered to be able to... They're engineered basically around the minimum turning radius for a 53-foot semi-truck. Yeah. True story. Yeah, I bet you didn't know that. That's why you have this at the end. That's why cul-de-sacs exist. Fire trucks. School buses. Pick your heavy vehicle. Sure. Anyone? Yep. Cool, huh? Now you know. They also make great spaces for street hockey. My guy. The glob father you be learning today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make sure you learn. You gotta learn. All right, this should be good enough for a new district, I think. Okay, now we gotta equip it with everything that it needs. We need a police station. Police station on the main road. Fire station on the main road. We need a Schm elementary school. I'm gonna put the elementary school over here, I think. Actually, we'll put it over here. There we go. Actually, you know what? They'll go somewhere else. A lot of them aren't easy for a school bus, let alone a semi. That's right, Zwiggies, but that's why they're there. They're engineered to move a semi truck with a 53 foot trailer. It's tight, but it'll work. It's better than backing up down that. Hey, man, I played American Truck Simulator. That's not fun. That doesn't sound fun at all.
can confirm it's not fun. Post office. And then we need a cell tower out here too. Yeah, cell phone towers. Yep, absolutely a thing. Hey. Is the train going to an outside connection? Oh, cool. That's a Marble City connection? Wait a minute. Wait, if that's a Marble City connection, what's this one over here? That's Milton. What about over here? Barney? Bar Hanan Duck. Bardney City. All tracks will lead to Marble Rome City. Blanking out some lots here. Actually, you know what we should do? Hold on one second. Let me just erase this real quick. Sorry, the the the, the plans were forged by people in in the suburbs. We really want this to look right. Let's give ourselves some spacing. Trying to space the lots out a little bit, make it look like they're bigger lots. Developer failed the balls inspection. That's right.
Maybe this developer, maybe one guy built a bunch of houses here. One contractor built a bunch of houses, so we'll just space them out evenly there. There we go. The only problem with zoning extremely low density like this is that it's not a good way to get your population up. <laughs> How you know you build a whole bunch of houses sometimes the same guy the same builder will build a bunch of them right so you get you end up getting some houses that are perfectly symmetrical and then the other houses that aren't because they were made by a different builder happens all the time making sure these are all different footprints too. So we're gonna get all different types of houses. Some of them are five by four, some of them are three by five. Some of them are two by, two by six. Some of them I just leave empty. It's good to vary it up. And then the, the extra areas, guys, I'm gonna fill in with trees so it looks like, um, It'll look like this. See what I'm saying? Thick it all. Thick digital. Are you a man or a mountain? Digital. I don't think I can take much more of this, sir.
Now, the other thing that we gotta do is we gotta make sure not every single one of these damn interchanges has traffic lights. You don't need traffic lights at pretty major intersections. That doesn't need it, that doesn't need it. That one does, this one doesn't, that one doesn't, that one doesn't. How did the new cover, how did the new cover, the SpaceX launch that, cover the SpaceX launch that did release but didn't get much further than that? A lot better than previous though, I asked because I'd read it in the news, it exploded shortly after takeoff, making it sound like a complete failure. Bodegas, Jedi, say it with me. Bodegas, yes, yes, very good. Um, Starship? It was a test flight, Dark Matter. Now, don't get me wrong, that isn't some crazy excuse for... to condone, like, failure. The test did not do what they wanted, but the... the way SpaceX tests... The way SpaceX tests, bud, is that the only... the only true failure is if you don't learn anything from Starship. If you don't learn anything from these test flights. That's the true failure, right? So, yeah, it didn't do what they wanted. But the way SpaceX is testing is that any data is good data and you're always going to learn something. So SpaceX is more, um, they're more inclined to send it when the risk is a lot higher. So there's a higher probability that it will blow up. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. We don't know. Let's send it. And if it makes it, well then that's great. But honestly, the way they test and the way they do things is... You, you, Basically, it's called an iterative design. Uh, with iterative, you if you fail, well, the only true... If the thing fails, it's not that big of a deal. It still sucks. But the only true failure in that kind of design philosophy is if you don't learn anything. That's the real big one. That's a big deal. You don't want to... You don't want to just say, ah, oh, that was a waste, right? Always try to learn something. And SpaceX, I bet you they got mountains of data from that Starship flight. So yeah, it did fail, but that's kind of a bit sensationalist. What do you want? You said you read a news article that said, oh, it failed and exploded shortly after takeoff. That makes it sound... Uh, that doesn't even take the time to explain the context of how SpaceX tests. So, honestly, I wouldn't trust a news source like that, but that's just me. That's none of my business. But yeah. It did fail. Oh, yeah. It definitely did not do what they wanted it to do. But the only true failure here would be if SpaceX didn't learn anything from it because of their design philosophy. See, a lot of, a lot of people on the internet argued semantics about this. I, I was reading the threads when I was on vacation, and I'm like, <laughs> okay. Okay. So it's not a success. It's not a failure either, though. I would say the vehicle didn't do what they wanted, that's for sure. It was close, it almost made it to low orbit. It was very close. It was a little bit short. All right, dudes. We're getting up to 10 o'clock here, guys. I wonder what kind of hit the ionosphere took from that explosion? Not much. Missed it by that much. No, SpaceX is privately funded, Citruna, so yeah, it's not a big deal. There are pretty much two sides you can approach a secure design from. NASA has mostly used the safe paths. Over-engineering is a working principle with a huge margin. Besides, when they make mistakes, it does happen. SpaceX approaches it from the other side. They make it as cheap and as simple as needed, but risk losing a few test, <laughs> test articles, yep. They improve until the design doesn't fail anymore. That's called agile testing versus waterfall testing. Yep, yep. That's right, Disposable. You got it, buddy. I like you. You're good. I've read somewhere that they have to explain their failure to the FAA before they can launch again, but I feel like maybe Reuters was wrong about that. Yeah, there's a mishap investigation, Jimmy, but that's done to make sure that they understand why it failed. 
so they don't just go willy-nilly to the next test. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's right. How did Reuters explain it? Did they explain it like, oh, they're, we're going to be in another boondoggle for the next five months? Because that's not what's going to happen at all. Hey, Doom. What's up, dude? Just wanted to say hi before sign-off. Hey, man. It's good to see you. Yeah, guys, we're going to be... Is that all pollution? Yeah. I'm going to stop for now, dude. It's good to be back, guys. Thank you for such a warm welcome back. I do really appreciate it, but I am going to stop for now. I'm getting a little bit tired. I don't know whether guy, I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to go look. Good night, Miss the City's been Jones and good. Yeah, yeah. We'll finish out those intersections and we'll add one more lane, bro. Please, just one more lane, bro. Bro, please, just one more lane. It'll fix it'll fix it. Just one more lane, bro, please. Please, bro, just one more lane, bro. It'll fix everything, I swear, bro. <laughs> That's never not gonna be funny. It's just like the car salesman meme. I still think the car salesman meme is funny. You can fit so many lanes in this bad boy. <laughs> Okay. That's how I was playing Lethal Company. I haven't seen that game. Rocket Guy is streaming? Ooh, Rocket Guy is streaming. Well, that's how I was playing Lethal Company. We can raid Rocket Guy. That's fine. Eh. Actually, you know what? I, I Dude, I want to raid Edsel because that, that fun stream that, we, that he did uh, the other day, that charity stream that he did was really funny. Yeah, I, I, I kind of want to watch it, but Rocket Guy is streaming too. Let's read Italics. This guy, this guy, dude, you think I'm crazy? This guy is good. It, Italics is a really funny, really funny streamer. He's playing a game called Lethal Company, and I, I see lots of blood stains. And his character has googly eyes. All right, well... Let's go see what he's up to. Guys, go see what my friend Ital Italics is up to. Trust me, he's a great streamer. Great streamer to chill and unwind to. I usually just lurk in his stream while I go to sleep. <laughs> apparently, EJ is apparently is hilarious, that game. All right, cool, cool. Let's go check it out. So, just go over there, get an EJ raid, put some panels over in his chat. Give him a... We'll, uh... Greet the, greet the Raiders good. They're going to try to stab us with their stabby emotes. But yeah, go see what Etel's up to, guys. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Noon time. Noon time. We'll keep going with cities. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good night.